Howdy, everybody! Hello! How's everybody doing? I hope everyone's having a good one. I hope everyone's having a great day. Hi, hi. Let's see who's in the chat here. Currently in the chat, I have Caesar. Hello, Caesar. Thank you so much again. Um, if you guys don't know, Caesar made a really nice video um, for my channel anniversary, and so he put it in the Discord server. So thank you again to him for making such a sweet tribute. It was very um, awesome. And also, yesterday, uh, Gemini Audios turned two years old! So we live! How exciting! Um, so there's some upcoming stuff that'll be dropped because it's the two-year anniversary. I'm hoping to drop some merch for the two years, as well as some other cool stuff that I've been working on. Um, so soon there'll be a little anniversary thing coming up, um, but due to this week and yesterday I wasn't feeling so hot, I wasn't able to actually stream yesterday, or I would have. So thank you guys so much for your patience and your love and your support. I really appreciate it. Gemini Audios is two years old. I could not have done this without y'all. Y'all are fantastic. I love y'all to death. Don't know what I'd do without you. You guys are wonderful. I am doing much better today. I wasn't feeling super great yesterday, which is just perfect planning. <laughs> but I'm doing much better now. I have fluids. Um, I'm feeling much better. I was not a very feeling very well yesterday. Um, so I'm very happy. So, everything's going great. Hello to Faith. Hello to Stud VA. Hello, Aurora. Welcome, Crazy Anime Gamer. Hi, guys. Hi, I'm doing good. How are you doing today, Gemini? I'm doing great. I have so much planned for you guys today. And I'm just having the greatest time. Crazy Anime Gamer. This game will destroy Gem's innocence. <laughs> I am excited. I mean, I was not expecting this. I heard it was a mystery game, but I didn't know how to the wall we were getting when we first started this. But you know what? I'm invested. Your girl is a horror movie fan, so I'm kind of super invested. Welcome, Huzzles! Welcome, 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 Ty! Hello! Hi, Jim! Happy two-year anniversary to the channel. I've been watching since I'm sick with a fever. Oh, feel better, stud! Rest up, rest well, fluids. Please remember, guys. Uh, so, here's the deal. I didn't realize how long the chapters are for Danganronpa. So, my main plan is this. My main plan is to play Danganronpa as best as I can today, right? Um, get through all of the clues, but do the actual trial on another stream. Because it seems like each of the chapters are taking several hours. Um, as you guys may know if you caught the last Danganronpa stream, it was seven hours per case. And I think even if I figured it out quickly with my big mega brain, uh, it's going to take a long time. So we're going to do one part. We're going to split these into different sessions. So we are going to split into clue collection and trial. And that's why I think we're going to work with this. So I'm super hyped about this. Thank you guys so much. Horror movies are the best. And I love a good mystery. Nancy Drew, let's go. Gemini is on the case to solve more things for Triggy, Trigger Happy Havoc, which I'm super hyped about. Um, I have had a lot of people try and talk to me about it, and I cannot, I'm like, I, I, don't tell me nothing, I'm only on case after case one, so don't tell me anything. So, I'm very excited, I'm very hyped. Uh, I've also talked about maybe doing a cosplay of this, um, if I get to a good chunk, the, the cosplay I might do uh, at 7k might be Danganronpa, so depends on what I'll do, but I'm very hyped, uh, so we'll see how it goes. So, m mystery, my Irish, my Irish Italian dairy ear, or with a capital angel. <laughs> okay, oh my god. So, alright you guys, let's get into Danganronpa, because we solved it last time. So let's do this. So we were at the end of chapter one last time. Yes, I want to load the save file. So we're going to continue. You will begin where you last left off. Is this okay? Yes. Awesome. Let's get into it. Okay. Sorry guys, I got to check around the room again. I gotta remember. Okay, yeah, I think that's how. That's everything okay. Oh, really? There's nothing? No, 
Nothing being said, huh? Interesting. It's gone. Oh! Oh, yeah. Um, if you guys weren't here for the last stream, uh, our bathroom had turned into a crime scene. It's almost like there was never anything there to begin with. Yeah. It's completely cleared. Every last sign of Sayaka's existence has disappeared without a trace. Dang. It's just like you said. After the class trial, before we took the elevator back up, Monokuma told us. Uh -huh. Oh, I almost forgot. Since the class trial is over, I'll go ahead and dispose of all the corpses. What are you gonna do? It's okay. No need to thank me. Just seeing your delighted, smiling faces is enough thanks for me. Or thanks enough for me. After all, nobody wants to look at a rotting corpse every day. That can't be good for your health. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I didn't even have time to mourn Sayaka and Junko's deaths. I'm sure that's exactly why he did it. It's a bad joke. A sickening dream. But I have to accept the reality of it all. I headed back to the dining hall to meet up with the others. Okay, let's see. Oh, I see more people have popped in the stream. Uh, yes, I am working on something to do with true crime and to make a second channel that handles some more adult topics like true crime and stuff. Good, by the way. Call me Ty. Hi, everybody. Hi, welcome, Eli. I hope I never find a corpse in my bathroom. Honest to God, that's the truth. The real truth. The real tea. Sorry, I'm late. Oh. My dude, you're you're stressed. Don't worry, dude. So, hey. Um, Are you okay, Makoto? You sure took your sweet time? I was just about to go and get you and drag you back here. Dude, I'm in mourning! Give me a damn minute. So what happened? Was your room fixed up like you said? I imagine you're pretty hard to sleep with a rotting corpse in your bathroom. Bro, you better take that smile off your face, dog. Jesus, that's fucked up, man. Why would you say something like that? My room was spotless. There wasn't anything like it. Like the whole thing never happened. I see. It must be tough staying there knowing what happened. Why don't you just stay in Sayaka's room? Well, staying there with her son still hanging in the air, that would hurt just as much. Plus, I've decided that I can't turn away from her death. <sighs> Man, big sad, dude. Makoto. Um... Hey, cheer up! Getting depressed isn't gonna help anything, right? I, uh, I always... That's not how depression works. Ugh, I forget that this is back from, like, 2010. And I'm like, guys, this is not how depression works. <sighs> If we all work together, I'm sure we'll find a way out of here. You got it. So everyone just try and cheer up and get back on track. Is that honestly supposed to make us feel? I th actually, you know what, Bayaki? That's a hundred percent correct. I would be exactly that fucking whatever. Yes, I. We, that's it's not great. We're already working together, and yet someone was still murdered. Anyone could betray us at this point. Now that it's happened once, there's a question of when, not if, the next one takes place. Yeah, because Sayaka made the first move. Well, but if we work together against the Mastermind, nobody will have any reason to do something like that. Stop Keep telling yourself that. I'll be over here in the real world. Working together, fighting a common enemy, it's like it or not, it's not that simple. Uh, what do you mean? Are you okay with this? The Mastermind seems to be more powerful than we ever suspected. They took over Hope's Peak, which is supposed to be well defended, and then modified it to their desire. They created Monokuma, which seems to be incredibly advanced, and they're providing for our every need. And the cherry on top is the execution we witnessed. Everything has been planned down to the last excruciating detail. This is not the work of your everyday psychopath. Defying them may be too great of a risk. So then. then, what are we supposed to do? Anyone who truly does want to escape will just have to follow the rules. In which case, the only option is to deceive those around you and win the game. No. Oh, Chi Chihiro. No. What? No what? I don't want I to live if it means killing somebody else to do it. Oh, Chihiro. I don't want to kill some anyone else. Huh? Anyone else? What do you mean? 
Leon died because we all voted for him, right? Oh. Oh, shoot. There's no difference from us killing him ourselves! But... If we hadn't voted for him, we all would have died instead, right? That isn't what you wanted, is it? She's right. If you heap that kind of blame on yourself, you'll turn into a full-fledged masochist. Chihiro, listen. You're not to blame. Not you, not Leon, or not Sayaka. The mastermind is responsible for everything that happened. To be honest, he's correct. If the mastermind hadn't drug y'all in here and done all of this stuff, it, of course, in the isolation, it's going to drive y'all to go nutty. We had no choice but to vote. I can't even imagine what would have happened if we'd refused. And in the end, it was Monokuma who ultimately killed Leon. You don't... So don't waste your anger on yourself. Instead, direct it at the mastermind. Oh... It is now 10 p.m. This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Oh, he changing it up. It was totally obvious before that you were trying to make yourself feel better and justify what you did. See you, see you, don't see you, see you. That's about how much I can see you even when you try to hide. Now pay attention and remember this well. The burden of judging others is a heavy one to bear. So be well aware of your actions. Order and stability rely on the sacrifice and responsibility of everyone. Okay then, sweet dreams everyone. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bug bite. What was that about just now? Was he saying it's our fault what happened? That's pretty cruel, man. Honestly, I think that's pretty dang cruel. Piece of shit. <laughs> Who does he think he is? I want to see Mondo absolutely molly walk this bear. <laughs> I'm not even gonna walk. <laughs> and so the day drew to a close. <laughs> a tense, maddening day that saw the deaths of three classmates Sayaka, Junko, and Leon. But this is just the beginning. Our despair has only just begun. Chapter 2, A Boy's Life of Despair. I woke up the next day to Monokuma's normal morning announcement. Then he called us all to the gym. What's he going to do to us this time? We were practically frozen in fear, but Monokuma was determined to get us involved in his little game. And with that goal in mind, he began it. Are we doing aerobics? <laughs> what the? One, two, three, four. Not, not our boy Taka in here doing aerobics with the bear. Are you kidding me? Dog. One, two, three, four. Taka. Now reach way up and bend way down. Oh. Oh. This is so... This feels very predatory, and I don't like it. <laughs> ah, does this feel just great being stuck inside like this? You gotta make sure you stay healthy. Not this man dying. You're the one keeping us stuck inside. <laughs> you know what? Toko ain't wrong. Toko ain't wrong. We would get fresh air if you could let us... Don't sweat the small stuff. That's my motto. Yeah! Wow, that sounds pretty cool just now, don't you think? I mean, subpar. Did you fall in love with me? Am I just to die for? Am I just, am I just to die in writhing agony for? Oh my god. 
So, why did you call us here? Certainly it wasn't to make us exercise. Exactly! I think... I'm thinking Sakura is correct that you are not here to bring us for a light morning jog or, or for some Pilates. Just to make you exercise? Just to make you exercise? I mean, dude, it looks like you're teaching us Pilates. If exercise makes you laugh, exercise will make you cry. I mean... Now, if you keep doing these exercises, you will uncover the secret of the assassin's fist. The what now? Passed down from generation to generation in the empire of darkness, the power can be yours. What in th what in the? M that sounds like the kind of junk a middle schooler would come up with. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Just get to the point. Did you really call us down here just to exercise? Hey. Um... Of course not. You think I have that kind of free time on my hands? Okay. So then. Ah, I'd like to make an announcement. Every time you overcome a class trial here at Hope's Peak, a whole new world will open up for... Oh, are we getting the other floor? Oh, a whole new world. You guys? It'd really suck if you had to live here forever with nothing new to stimulate you. I'm... Oh, we, we're getting the upper floors, baby. We getting the explorer, Nancy Drew. Besides, I know how you kids get these days with your ADD and your ADHD. Hey, hey, I don't appreciate you calling me out like that, dog. I gotta keep you motivated. I, I, hate, I hate how much of a call out that is. What the heck? So go ahead and look around all you want. Enjoy the brave new post-trial world till you explode. <laughs> And with that, Monokuma disappeared, leaving us even more confused than when he'd shown up. Oh, okay. Alrighty. But, a new world. Is he talking about a way to get outside? That seems unlikely. Well, we don't know till we look. Whatever he meant, it seems we have to search the school one more time. Okay, then let's slow it up and start investigating. When you're done, everyone meet back at the dining hall and we'll share what we found. Okay. You're basically a one-trick pony, you know that? More like a staple food source. Now, let's get moving. Seeing his words as their signal, everyone scattered and left the gym. Okay, let's do a quick... A quick little pan over of our gym here. Maki has it. Okay. That's what it was last time. That's the screen. I wonder if something new says. Monica appears on. If it breaks, Monica will come and punish me. Okay. Okay. We're going to leave. Okay. 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 Oh. Hero! What the heck? Hey, Makoto. Did you see what's inside the display case? Bad. It's super bad, man. What? What are you talking about? I didn't notice anything at all. It was weird there. Sure, the untrained eye, it's nothing, but it's awful. A bad, awful, terrible trap. Serious? It's the stuff you, you see lined up there. Any god could get by and use it to send a message. Huh? Ugh. I've been struck with knowledge. It's an ill omen of total devastation and ruin. Oh, he is the clairvoyant, right? Let me out. Let me out. I have no idea what he's talking about, so maybe I'll just leave him alone. Interesting. He's the clairvoyant, right? He can sense stuff that isn't meant to be there. Inside the display case are trophies and other items. Winning championships and stuff can naturally to those around the school here. Okay, okay. Okay, so that's the same. I'd love to just smash this stupid thing, but who knows what would happen to me if I did. Okay. So we're gonna exit. I'm pretty certain it's actually... Oh, wait. Oh, I'm dumb. I went to the wrong thing. Sorry, y'all. Hold on. We're going back out. But I'm pretty certain... Um... 
Yes, leave this area. Let's take a look. Okay, we were at the j Oh! Makoto, look! The gate blocking the stairway stairs is gone. It would seem a path to the second floor has been opened. But it's almost an utmost importance to double check the areas we already know about, just in case. Aren't I so clever to think of that? I'm really impressing myself sometimes. <laughs> well, I'll leave the school to you. Uh, should we descend the staircase right away? Let's just look. I think we should just check. The gate has been opened. Is this what Monica can meant by a new world? If so, what's up there? This is the second floor of the school. Maybe there's some kind of clue here. Yeah, I'm sure of it. There's gotta be something here. Okay. Oh, okay, there's a pool. Hold on, where's the... I knew there used to be a thing for the map. Oh, sorry, y'all. I was trying to remember. Actually, tab. Oh, it's tab that's the map. Okay. There we go. So, we're right here. The pool is there. That's the pool. Okay, bathrooms. I'm guessing this is like a study hall. Or... Oh, that leads to the classrooms downstairs. Okay, so let's take a look here. Yeah, it's another classroom, okay. This leads to a third floor. This leads to a library. Oh, the library has multiple things to it. Okay, okay. And around here is another classroom. Okay, so let's work from back to front. Reality isn't everything. Interesting. Maybe we're not allowed to break them, but what about blocking them so they can't see anything? Nope, still not brave enough to try it. Okay. I know it's pointless, but I can't stop looking at the clock. It's a force of habit, I guess, even though it just leaves me with this empty feeling. And then this is one of the monitors he appears on. Smash the stupid thing. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. I don't see anything in this classroom or anything. Well, besides the panels, of course. Surprise, the second floor, the windows here are the same metal covering plates covering them. Okay, so we're gonna exit this room. Okay. We're gonna shuffle back, shuffle back, shuffle back. And this is the door to the library, okay. Oh. oh, there's multiple homies in here. Hold on. Let's take a look here. It looks like a laptop. Laptop looks pretty old, but it's all covered in dust. So... It's broken. I tried pressing the power button earlier, but nothing happened. It's broken, huh? Too bad. I'm both going to go online and see what's going on in the outside world. If it's broken, there's nothing I can really do about it. Shelf cover and dust. The shelf is a letter. What's this? Hope's Peak Academy. It was buried under a thick layer of dust. It must have been sitting here for quite a while. Well, shall we see what's inside? But we shouldn't read other people's mail without their permission. What we shouldn't do is leave it here without finding out what's inside. Okay. I broke the seal in the dusty envelope and pulled out a single sheet of paper I found inside. I unfolded the letter and read what was written there. From the Hope's Peak Academy Executive Office. Throughout the years, we have been committed to shaping the youth who will one day shape the world. We have a long, proud history as an institution of higher learning with a full governmental support. Our graduates enter society ready to take on an active leadership role in every major job field. 
However, Hope Peak Academy must now lower the curtain on its glorious history for the time being. This decision was not easy for us to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. But make no mistake, this is not the end of Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues forcing our closure have been resolved. That being said, this is the end for now, and I, will like, I would like to personally and sincerely thank everyone for your help and support over the years. For now, we await official governmental authorization to formally cease operations. What does this mean? Hmm, the contents of this letter are quite interesting indeed. It would seem Hope's Peak has stopped functioning as a school, and judging by the amount of dust the letter has collected, it seems it doesn't seem to have happened recently. If I had to guess, I'd say this letter could be at least a year old. So you're saying Hope's Peak closed down at least a year ago? Most likely, the mastermind took, out the ab took over the abandoned school in order to put on this little performance. But that would mean it was closed when I got here a few days ago. But I didn't get the sense of that at all. Plus, if the school had shut down, don't you think it, w it would have been in all the newspapers and stuff? I mean, you're saying it could have happened over a year ago, right? But before I got here, I looked up stuff online about the school and never saw anything about it. So in other words... That must have been all part of the Mastermind's plan. They lured us all in here. Someone would, who could create a place to judge and execute people with potential of being capably anything. Of course, that's all assuming this letter is real. However, if it is real, though, that does solve one mystery surrounding the school. The reason there are no other students here could be because the school had already closed down. That would be nice. A simple solution, it's true. But then, what about this other part? This decision was not easy one to make, but serious issues beyond our control have made it necessary. What? What, what could have been so serious that it would have shut down this school? Basically, like... That's like trying to say, like, Xavier's School of Mutants gets shut down. So, like, what, what kind of, like... What kind of threat would have had to happen to shut down the school if the government is funding it? Like, this is a serious school. Like, but make no mistake, this is not the end of Hope's Peak Academy. We intend to reopen our doors as soon as the issues of our closure have been resolved. It's forcing the closure, meaning they're closing it for safety. What did they mean by serious issues? This apparent, that's apparently why the school had to close. Is there any connection between that and what's happening right now? No. If the two events are in fact connected, uncovering the connection will be a useful clue on top of figuring out the mastermind's motive. Although I can't really say any more until we find more details. In other words, only the mastermind knows the truth right now. The mastermind's motive if we can figure out why they would have wanted to imprison us all here, will that be enough to get us out of here, or... Huh. Okay. The shelves are packed type of books, but looking at the whole thing is incredibly dusty. It looks like the library has been neglected for a pretty long time. It's nice as the school itself, however, is charged and upkeep has been pretty lazy. Strange. The shelves are packed tightly with books. It's the whole thing is completely dusty. Neglected for a pretty long time. It's nice. Okay. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the table. It looks like the library's been neglected for a pretty long time. It's nice as the school it is self charged with upkeeps. Pretty lazy. Strange. Okay. I love getting coins. Give me all the Mario coins. Yeah, I can I am I not allowed to touch this little card? It looks like I can't. Okay, let's talk to everyone individually. It's remarkably dusty in here. The lighting is less than ideal. For a library, it's not the kind of place I'd want to do much reading in. You fool me. I'm absolutely shocked! How come? They have all these books here and not one copy of any of my works! 
Well, yeah, why would they have comics in a library? Plus, most fanfics is just poor drawn by a bunch of amateurs. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. I do get it. I do too get it. And with a face like yours, anyone can tell nothing you do is worth it. Whoa! Say whatever you want about me, but never judge a book by its author. Oh. Now, hear this. Appearances mean nothing at all. What you see before you is nothing more than the rind that covers, contains the meat of my genius. My creations are what determine my meaning and value. You're so full of it. Toko, by that logic, you're also a writer. You would be, people would judge your works by you. Hmm, I'm using this, I'm used to being misunderstood. You think weak attacks like yours would drop my HP. Those two really worried me. I, I mean, no, I mean, that's a rough conversation to have. But still, this library is most interesting. Hmm? What's interesting about it? Stop oh, nothing. I'm just thinking out loud. Uh, you must be pretty happy to have all these books around, huh, Toko? <laughs> Not particularly. Nothing really caught my attention so far. Mm -hmm. Indeed, there is a plethora of books, it's true, but the content seems lacking. <laughs> Where are the comic books? Where are the young adult sections? <laughs> Comic books? Young adult? That stuff's a waste of time. I've seen what you write, Miss Fukawa. Talented as you are, your stuff isn't any more... <gasps> Ooh! We fighting? My stories are full of true love and pure feelings. Don't compare them to that garbage of yours. Ooh! <sighs> your writing doesn't even mean anything. It's just a bunch of jumbled up letters. Someone could have ju just burn it all. Oh, the lady doth protest too much. I cannot even play with this m'lady shit. <laughs> Me think. <laughs> I bet you secretly into boy on boy. Oh, she. Don't call this girl out for BL. Don't be like that. Boy on boy. I don't care if it's anime or comics or fanfic or whatever. It's all filth. Throw away culture that'll be trashed and forgotten in half a decade. Oh, just talking about it makes me sick to my stomach. I feel like I'm gonna throw up. You've insulted me and insulted my honor. <laughs> oh my god. These two are so unreal, dude. I can't even. This is the classic debate of is fan fiction really, really, like, good writing? These two are really starting to break me out. I think I've never seen anything like <laughs> Dude, this is the time we bounce. What's behind this door? It's some kind of archive. All I saw in there was a stack of old books and files. I can't imagine what business you'd have in there. That's true. I don't have any reason to check it out. I'm just starving for information for the outside. Worked. Camera still. Nothing there. Okay, we're gonna leave this. I think we've got everything we could need. Okay, okay, okay. Now, let's go... Where else were we? I think that's the archive room, so we'll keep moving. Oh, wait, we gotta go back this way. This is the other classroom. The baby is sleeping. Please be quiet. Oh, so cool. Any normal classroom members room, room would be for the vendors because I'm in a plating cover then. Surveillance camera, they're watching every single move we make. I know it's pointless, but I can't see anything at the clock. Even though it's wrong, I don't like it. Oh, interesting, interesting. No, I want to talk to Sakura. I see. This must have been what he meant by New World. I should probably take a close look around. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
So that's the room there. And we're going the right direction and head this way. Oh, wait, no. So these are the bathrooms. Let's check out the bathrooms. This is where the bathroom cleaning supplies are stored. I don't see anything useful here. Okay. Oh. No, there's nothing needed in it. Nothing in here. No sneaky spots. Go check this one. This is good. If I even do it, I'm a total creep. Okay. Let's go here. Alrighty, guys. I think we're making good progress. Oh, Makoto. Hey, guess what? Guess what I found? A pool. There's a pool here. A pool, a pool, a pool. I should have known. I always use the, like, ultimate swimmer is losing her mind. You don't have to keep repeating it. I got it. And there's a ton of exercise equipment in the locker room. Soccer is gonna go nuts when she finds out. Yeah, you're right. Nina seems way more excited than usual. I can imagine. It's like her forte. Ooh, lots of options in here. There's a bunch of different pool-related items on the shelf. Boogie boards! <laughs> Little boogie boards and pool news. There's a Gatling gun in here?! Is that a real gun? It's not like we're at war here. Why would we need something like that here? A camera. A surveillance camera. Maybe they're, they're being watched. That's there. Here's on. Looks like one of those lifesaver floating donuts. <laughs> I love it's a lifesaver floating donut. Not a floaty. But a lifesaver floating donut. Okay. So I'm a boy. Makoto's a boy. So we should go to the boys. It's the locker room. Oh, and I guess you need your handbook to get in the locker rooms. Oh. Really? Of course. Really, really. Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Perfect. If you want to unlock the locker rooms, you'll have to swipe your personal e-book. E-handbook across the card reader next to the door. However, to ensure maximum security within each of the locker rooms, only a boy's handbook can open the boy's locker room and a girl's name for the girls. Oh, okay. And that's the bottom line. Hmm, what if someone opens the door and then someone else sneaks in? Anyone who commits such indecency will be punished severely without mercy for their scandalous sexual depravity. See, there's a Gatling gun mounted on the ceiling, right? It'll be like... Da -da 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 -da. I bet it really hurt to get shot by that thing. <laughs> uh, no, I think it'd be a little worse than that. But what happened if someone lost their handbook to someone else? A boy would borrow a girl's handbook, and that would get them into the girl's locker room, wouldn't it? Oh, that never occurred to me to think someone could be so low, so cowardly, so devilish. Hmm, okay, then how's this sound? Time for a new rule. As of this moment, loaning your e-handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. There, so now nobody can give their handbook to anyone else, right? You like that? I'm kind of a genius, right? It's because my brain is 10, 100% cotton. I don't imagine anyone would have lent their handbook out in the first place. After all, that would likely be held responsible for anything that person might do with their handbook. But, you know, you seem awfully concerned with all this locker room security stuff. It's because you're all teenagers or sex crazy maniacs. You're at the age that you're ch you're chucked up the plastic bottle. Ah! So to keep anything unseemingly from happening, I want to watch ever retain vigor as watch. Then in that case, I would ask that you keep the same closed eyes on the doors. If some man and some woman decide to share a room, there would be nothing to stop them. All I care about is protecting the holy image of the school itself. I don't care what happens in your private dorms. But force or by coming, do whatever you want. I hate you so much. Okay, so the new regulation is down, please. See ya! Man, 
That stupid bear totally ruined my mood. Maybe I'll go take a dip to cheer myself up. You got it. Celeste, Tahiro, you want to come join with me? As for me... There's nothing I hate more than getting water on my face. Sorry, I'll pass this time. How come? When you're in a funk, there's nothing better than a good swim to pull you out of it. Says the ultimate swimmer. I'm pretty sure that only applies to you. <laughs> anyway, I'll have a good idea what's on this... Anyway, now I have a good idea what's on the second floor. But I didn't see anything that might lead to any kind of exit or anything. All I can do is hope someone else found something worthwhile. Maybe I'll head back to the dining hall as soon as possible. Okay, we're gonna take a pause. Oh! Let me look, see who's here. Hello, welcome Michiro, welcome M. Oh, welcome Joseph. The mystery's going good, I'm excited. We love a good mystery, we love a good mystery. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, how'd it go? Did anyone discover any interesting new anything? There's a library! And a pool! A freaking pool! A locker room's filled of exercise equipment! <laughs> there was not, however, anything resembling an escape route. Yeah, she's right. Well, hey! There's no reason to get all sulky. Wait till you hear about my amazing discovery! Oh! The warehouse and the bathroom- bathhouse on the first floor of the dorms are now open! <gasps> oh! And the warehouse is chock full of food, clothes, and whatever you want! There's so much it's insane! So go ahead and stuff yourself like stuff yourself to the gills whenever you feel like. <laughs> Keep in mind, of course, that going out at nighttime is still prohibited. Please do not forget. Okay, and what about what about the way out of here? You find anything like that? Oh well, um, there wasn't anything in the warehouse we could use to get our asses out of here. Nothing. Unfortunately, no. Not that I saw. You fucking people. <laughs> Who gives a shit if we've got a goddamn pool now, or a warehouse, or whatever the fuck? We're still trapped in this piece of shit school, we need to find a goddamn way out of it. <laughs> now, now, there's no point in taking your anger out on us. Adaptation is the key, yes? For now, we must find, we must each find a way to enjoy our current situation. You whatever you say, you freaking loon. For now, let's just continue our investigation and let everyone know if you discover something. So, then. so are we done for today? Yeah. yeah, well, I guess so. It's okay. It's okay, Taka. That's good to know. There seems suddenly grows heavy again. Was this a mastermind's plan to give us hope just to turn around and betray that hope? Hmm. We all promise not to leave our dorms during the night time. There's not much else to do. I guess I'll just go to bed. Okay. Monokuma Theater! Mr. Monokuma, Mr. Monokuma, do you have a second? I really don't like myself. I don't have any kind of skill or hobby I can say I'm super good at. And my grades are totally average too. My reflexes are okay. Not great, not awful. I could get into a decent college where I'd make a few friends, maybe even find a normal girlfriend. Which is exactly why I don't like who I am. I understand now. My life is just one giant copy-paste. I don't have any imagination. I'm perfectly average cardboard cutout. You see what I mean? Ooh. Interesting. These Monokuma theaters are very interesting. Gemini. Uh, 
You have an announcement, Em? Also, that sounds so good, crazy. Not even gonna lie. I'm st I'm a little hungry, but I'm feeling a little feeling a little weird today. Oh. New regulations have been added, so please take a look and enjoy your school life more than ever before. Okay. Let's see. Regulations menu. You must be loan your ebook, but right now I need to hurry up and head to breakfast. Yes, I do. I'm kind of nervous. Please don't be mad at me. No, it's okay. The demon bear needs to die painfully. <laughs> yeah, honestly, Monokuma, Monokuma is, a, is a problem. I wonder if we're in free time. here already? Nope, still waiting on Byaku and Taka. Byaku was no surprise, but it's strange Taka's not here yet. <laughs> Knowing Taka, I imagine he's trying to get the king of tardiness up and out of bed. I'm sure they'll be here soon enough. Just be patient. I don't mind waiting for them, but there is one problem, which is I am thirsty. Hey, come on. How the hell is that a problem? <laughs> hey, Fumi, would you make me some tea? Hmm? <laughs> Milk tea, if you please. Uh, why me? Let's see. Your roundish figure reminds me of the owner of a coffee shop I used to frequent. That's your reason? This is fine. I can feel my throat drying out. Quickly, please. Oh. Okay. Oh. What? Are her and Hifumi being nicer to her? Apparently unable to refuse Celeste's order, Hifumi sulked his way into the kitchen. A few minutes later... Thank you for waiting. Ifumi reappeared with a tray in his hand, the gentle aroma growing stronger as he approached. Is Ifumi good with tea? <laughs> Finally. You could have made some for the rest of us, you know. I empathetically decline. You're not my type at all. <laughs> it's all about the law of cash casualty and basic instinct. Act and react. <laughs> well then, if you don't mind. Small smile appears on her lips as she held a teacup directly to her hands. Oh. Wait! She cocked her head side to side and threw the cup as hard as she could at the wall. Whoa! What the? Hey, what are you doing, my little white rabbit? Bro. I hate this kind of tea. Hmm, I don't understand. Yes. I imagine we are at a coffee shop, just any normal everyday cafe. I sit down, I order some tea. They ask me, would you like lemon or milk? Now, Further imagine, I reply, ah, yes, I would like milk tea, please. In this case, along with my tea, they would bring me a small container of milk, yes? But this is not for me. I am among those that prefer milk to be part of the process from the outset. The fragrance is just so overwhelmingly sweet that way. Adding milk or lemon right before you drink it is like dousing your fries in ketchup. Mere condiments. Whenever I look for a cafe, I first review their menu to see if it offers the proper style of milk tea. I cannot acknowledge any milk tea that doesn't that does not add the milk during the brewing process. If I had to describe our shared reaction to what we just heard, I'd have to go with a wide-eyed bewilderment. <laughs> crazy, crazy, crazy. Okay. Oh, what's happened, Em? I went to all the trouble to make you that tea and you wanted me to go even farther? Yes, I realize it can be a bit of a hassle. Even in cafes that off offer proper milk tea, it's always more expensive than simple tea with milk. It takes more time to prepare, surely, but why even bother creating a menu if you're not gonna offer the highest level of quality? Well, uh, we don't actually have a menu. Whoa, flipped up. 
That doesn't matter. Hurry up and bring me what I asked for. Swine. Whoa. What? Yeah, I, I thought. Hold up now there. That that was a change and a half. Okay. Oh, oh. He fooled me. I do love coercion. Oh my god. Celeste is, is, whoa. <laughs> whoa. You were like a totally different person. I know, Owie. I'm dying in here. Yeah, shit. You really went psycho there. I knew there was more to her than when I first met her. I'd hate to have her as an enemy. Seriously, man, she's one scary chick. Honestly. She gives me vampire vibes. The dining hall doors flew open and one of the late arrivals came storming in. But, bad news, everyone. There's a mystery afoot. Oh! Oh? What happened? It would seem Bianca refuses to leave his room. I stood there pressing the doorbell over and over, but he never showed himself. Maybe he just wasn't there. I think maybe. I'd like to think so, but I'm worried something might have happened to him. Oh. What he meant by that, I didn't have to say anything else. Everyone understood exactly what that might mean. It might be a good idea if we split up and go looking for him. And I was just about to suggest the same thing. Stop trying to one-up everyone. Okay, then I'll go check his room one more time. I'll just go... I'll just keep on hammering that button until I get a response. Well then, the rest of us can go and check the rest of the building. Yeah, before it's, uh, you know, too late. Anyway, we have to do our best to find Biakia. So where might Biakia have gone? Okay. Maybe he might have gone to check the second floor of the school again? Celeste, aren't you going to help look for Biakia? I've not had my tea yet. Hmm. Until my thirst is satisfied, I have no urge to do anything. If you're in a hurry, feel free to motivate Hifumi to move faster. Okay. But aren't you being kind of selfish? Let's check the kitchen. Hifumi. Mr. Nei, what's going on? Well, nobody's seen Byakuya this morning, so we've decided to go look for him. What? That's not good at all! However, this little piggy needs to... I have a holy edict to deliver a proper milk tea to my master. Whoa! To bless this undeserving swine with such an honor, I will serve you with all my heart and soul. Oh, good luck with that. Hifumi's created some creepy alternative reality for himself. I mean, I'm not gonna lie to you, dude. That one specific knife is still missing. Sayaka took that one knife here. And then she... Okay. Can we just... Can I just state that, um... Hold on. I bet the girls were crazy if something this big was filled with cakes and sweets and stuff. No, that's the wrong thing to think about right now. Can we just talk about... Let me look. Oh... Uh... Also, hi, D. Welcome to the chat. Uh, this is when monitors appears in the kitchen. It's possible to cook in here without thinking about how he could be reappearing at any second. Here's the kitchen? Yes. Okay. Which we already went to. Okay. Chapter 2! Ah! <laughs> Yes. So I think... Let's take the tab off. So I know they're looking for him. Let's see if there's anyone I can check on. I'm sorry, y'all. There's fireworks going off. I was like, happy two year anniversary, Jonah. Thank you for the donation! Thank you, thank you! Thank you, thank you! Hey yo, what's up, Jem? What the hell did I miss? Did someone die yet? Nope! 
We are just currently working on some free time. We are running through to see and check on some stuff. Um, currently, Biakia has not exited his room for morning breakfast. So we're doing a little research. We're doing a little run around really quick. Um, we're taking a look on some things, seeing what's going on. I'm trying to figure out, because um, I think we got some free time. So I think what I'm going to do also is take a couple seconds and take a look at some areas that I haven't been able to take a look in. Oh, so this is the bathhouse area. Oh, Mondo. How's it going? You find him? No. Hey, Shit, on. man, where the hell did he go? He got his head stuck so far up his ass, you know? What's going on with him? I figured maybe he'd be taking a bath or something. What about you? You a morning bath kind of guy? Yeah. After spending all night riding on your hot wind in your face, there's nothing better than a morning dip. I mean... So that's a valid, valid feeling, guy. Hot water loosens you up. The heat of your soul gets your heart and body pumping. Sure thing. I'll have to take your word for it and all that. What? You don't know what I'm talking about? Fucking nerd. Guys gotta expose themselves to each other, you know? Come with me next time. You'll see. I'll think about it. But, I mean, it's not like you've been riding your hog here in school, right? Bro. Wild. Oh, what's that behind him? Hold on. Oh, are those massage chairs? Dude! Using this massage chair would make me feel kind of old. Guys, I'm so sorry if you're feeling, hearing the popping outside. Like, they're having a big old festival outside my apartment. Um, lockers. One of them's unlocked, but I don't see anything inside. Nothing there, nothing there. This is the sauna part. Oi! This bathroom is huge! Steam room. What is this? The sort heat source of the sauna? Interesting. You know what I've noticed? There is no cameras in the sauna. And there are no cameras from what I can tell in this bathtub room. There's no cameras in here. Interesting. And there are no cameras in this one either. Because it's the bathhouse. There's no cameras here either. Interesting. Oh, this is the laundry room. It's a bunch of magazines, one called The Lovely Ladies of Earth. It's filled with other refrigerators, world cast beauties. Oh, is that Junko? Junko's on there. Oh, shoot. That's a lot of places to check. There's enough washing machines here. I don't think we'll have to wait for one to open up. Nice, nice. Sorry, y'all. I'm always checking everything. Okay. So, Jim, I told my boss about the jerk, and he told me that him and his brother were totally dating me. I've known my boss for three years, and his brother is my fifth grade. Music teacher. Whoa! Detective Gem is the best detective. Thank you very much. That's kind of weird if there was cameras in the bathrooms. No, no, I agree. It would be weird if there were cameras in the bathrooms. But that means that if we need to do something without being watched, the bathrooms have no cameras. That is the first thing that's popped into my head. The bathroom has no cameras. Which is good to me. 
This gate is blocking the stairwell. I wonder if it'll open up at some point. So is this a different... This is the warehouse. Ah, I see you came and searched the era as well, Makoto. But you were one step too late. I already finished my investigation, and there was no trace of Byakuya. An army marches on its stomach, as I say. So I thought maybe he would come here to have his fill. We must all eat. Eat until there's nothing left to eat. Anyway, now there's no time to get discouraged. We must head somewhere to continue our search. You're right. Okay. Let's check here. There's a different kind of food stacked up. Basic ingredients from snacks and candy. It's everything anyone could ever want or need. There's all the big hands stacked up, okay. Okay. There's a little camera there. She put into camera. Watch people die. Especially gets on my nerve, I better leave it alone. Okay. Is this the fridge Sayaka mentioned? It's stuffed tight with food and drinks. There's all kinds of stuff piled here. I get kind of excited looking at it. So, behind him, there's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. There's all kinds of stuff piled up everywhere. Okay, I'm gonna break it. Okay. Nothing up there. Nothing low down. Okay, we don't leave this area. Hi, welcome, darling Adios. Uh, let's check the other building. for the donation thank you so much jam i'm so proud of you i hope you succeed when you become a vtuber i hope we do a collab we can do a collaboration keep it up sis we both have the melanin yeah let's go thank you thank you thank you i'm very excited actually i started talking to um a vtubing artist recently so i'm actually excited to see about possibly getting the design sorted bringing some of that you know energy you gotta bring that energy i'm excited you guys know me i like to try out new things i'm very excited to see where this goes from here nothing here interesting I don't see many people about. That's the, the shop. What's this again? I can't remember what this is. Oh, this is the front area. Oh, actually. Mailbox. Kyoko. Hey. So you thought you'd come here too, huh? So, so you think about Byakuya was so interested in yesterday. You can probably guess where he is, right? Hmm. Was it, he was interested in the library. We're going straight to the library. <laughs> when I opened the door of the library, I looked inside and cried out in sudden surprise. Byakuya! Of course, of all things I imagine, this most definitely wasn't one of them. He's just chilling. Uh, what are you doing? I'm fishing. I'm fishing. What, what does it look like I'm doing? <laughs> I'm trying to read, so if you could be quiet. Oh, sorry. Wait, no. What are you doing here? Everyone's super worried. We've 
all been looking for you. Who asked you to do that? Because we're all supposed to meet up in the morning and eat together. And we made a promise. A promise? Can't I get a second's peace and quiet around here? What are you doing here, man? We were all, we were very concerned. Well, you had no reason to be. I was just reading. I've never read such a coarse novel before, but it might have just proved useful at some point. Well, what were you reading? A mystery novel. Wait! So you're gonna use what you're learning in there to betray us? Don't be stupid. Yeah. It's just something to keep in mind. Yeah, what? If I decide to fight, of course I'll come up with something original. Otherwise, the game of ours would be totally boring, right? It's not often we get to take part in something high stakes and high tensioned activities. So if you're going to do it, you have to make sure it's entertaining. <laughs> His words sent a chill down my spine. Yeah, but you, you, you out here sounding like the villain, my guy. There was an undeniable smile on his face as he spoke. He looked like he was actually enjoying himself. Enjoying the deranged killing game. What the fuck do you mean, game? That's fucked up. M Mondo really got the energy. I feel for Mondo. If it is a game. It, but it is a game. There's a life. It's a game of life or death. Which can only have one winner. That's all there is to it. He's right. It's a zero-sum game. Hmm? It is part of game theory. A mathematical model. In game theory, what we are going through now is called a zero-sum game. In this type of game, in order for one person to gain something, another must necessarily lose something. In other words, it is a situation in which participants must compete for the position or resources. You mean, like an elimination match? Entrance exams, sports tournaments, job openings, most social interactions fall into this category. Someone must scramble to obtain something which is limited. For you to succeed, someone else must fail. This also applies to school life, which can be subject to here in this case. Our limited resource is that, is that one of us can successfully become the blackened. So this game was designed from the beginning to force us to try and defeat one and all the others. That, that has to be what they had in mind. That's why ad adaptation is so crucial. If those who can, if those who want to escape were to disappear, there is no reason to continue playing the game. But why would I want to stop playing? It's so much fun. He smiled again as he spoke. The smile was filled with evil intent. It twisted his face into something not human. It sounds as if we do not acknowledge even the possibility that you may lose, am I right? I love that Celeste is like, I'm the ultimate gambler, and I'm telling you, the possibility of loss is always a thing. Of course. <laughs> you do not speak like others, exactly what I would expect from the toma Tomagami heir apparent. That's just normal arrogance, isn't <laughs> that? Oh, hero. Isn't that just normal arrogance? Just you talk like that, but what if, it, what if you end up dead? I won't. It's simply not possible. It's simply not possible. You son of a bitch. Who the fuck do you think you are? Ooh. You know, I still can't believe it. What? Believe what? That an uneducated... Oh, shit. That an uneducated, brain-dead, useless piece of garbage like you survived this long. Piece of shit. I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> like I said, I don't die. Oh, I won't die. You keep saying that, but I mean, boy, you, you, you pushing on the buttons of fuck around and find out. Don't bother arguing with him. The concept of losing simply doesn't exist. He is the ultimate affluent prodigy, after all. The boy is raised to succeed from the day he was born. He considers victory his destiny and has lived his life accordingly. Quests and challenges are mere ways for him to stand victorious, even if it's a life or death situation. 
Is that not so, Byakuya? At least one of you seems to understand. Oh, I understand that you are insufferable, my dog. We understand. You are insufferable. Is it, po is it because I'm the same as you? Games are meant to be won. Are you trying to suggest we're on the same level? Close that vulgar mouth of yours. Well, well, I do apologize. Anyways, let me say this to you all. You all need to try harder. If an opponent isn't going to give it their best, where's the fun for me? No. That's a terrible way to look at it. What? Hmm? This isn't a game. Our lives are on the line, you know? You kill your own friend? To kill your own friends is... is horrific. It's horrific! Friends? Who decided that? Huh? We're not friends. No, quite the opposite. We're competition. We're enemies. But you know... Oh, Chihiro. But what? Stop trying to force your contradictions on me and just accept what I'm telling you. Um. Yes. If you have something to say, say it. Otherwise, keep your mouth closed. I'm sorry. Hey, shithead, get off bullying people that can't fight back. You want to try that on me? Ooh, I love... You know what? I kind of live for Mundo. Mundo don't like you picking on small people. You're back pretending to be friends, huh? And how long do you think that's going to last? Fuck you! <laughs> Is that all you can say? It's unfortunate you waste your breath on... So you would have wasted your breath on some empty gibberish. That's it. You're fucking dead. <laughs> Hold on. Just calm down. I am calm. To be honest, I think he's holding out pretty well. From what I could tell, Byakuya should be much more scared of this man than he is thinking about. How is this calm? Anyway, I don't have any intention of working with the rest of you any longer. To cooperate during an elimination game is, well, frankly, a waste of time. And I hate wasting, wastes, wasting of my time. Waste of time. Engaging in friendly group meals out of question. Someone could easily poison our food, and I'd rather not be a part of the Last Supper just yet. Quit talking like you're in a fucking movie or something. All I'm saying is, ultimately, you all are free to do whatever you want on your own. Goodbye. Without a second glance, Byakuya left. And there wasn't anything we could do to keep him from going. His way of thinking was beyond anything the rest of us could even comprehend. Was he serious about all that? He was, without a doubt. Don't fuck with well, me. fuck him then. <laughs> no, me and Mondo will really be feeling it. <laughs> but what he said, he might not necessarily be wrong. I mean, can you say for sure someone won't poison our food? Hey, come on, you too, Togo? I mean, Togo do be jumping on the bandwagon with this man. You do be jumping the bandwagon, dog. Well, it's not like anyone would care even if I was gone, right? Actually, I bet you all want me gone. You all think I'm disgusting. I mean, we don't think you're disgusting. We just think you acted a little cray. Like, that's all. None of us think that. You just think you don't think that. I know some people play the victim, but this is just totally out there. Goodness me. Let's take a check, brief check at the chat. Oh, goodness, a lot's happened. Is that okay? I know Gem is game mode, but yeah, is that okay? Just don't see that coming. What's it? But it's your life. How are you doing? I didn't say coming either, but your first day we were like, choose, but then I was like, I can't, so they they were like, now you have both. They should you, well, you were like the girl from the commercial. Why not both? Not me. Or the meme were both. Yeah, both. Both is good. Fantastic. I've been talking this week talking to a VTuber trying to get my model going thousand but I haven't made sure since since I'm a cage fighter oh really oh yeah I remember you mentioned that Glacier yes Michi as long as you're not mad at me I'm happy worried about what Jem will say though I'm mad at you it's your life if you want to have want that no one can judge you she won't be mad phew I mean the side of you oh trust me no I'm not mad at anybody I everyone can choose what they want to do with their lives it's absolutely their choice 
Uh, and you are going to live the life you want to live as long as you're safe and taking care of yourself. That is the only thing that matters to me. And that you're, I don't know how old you are, M, but as long as you're being safe. That's what I care about. Um, you think I don't know, but I do. You want me gone. And I'm sure the rest of you want the same thing, don't you? Bro. Ito, go wait. Just let her go. Once she gets going like that, there's nothing you can say to bring her back. Okay. Ultimately, our breakfast meeting came to an end without answering any questions. Everyone headed back to their rooms. Jeez, I'm tired already, but I don't have time to even take one day off. I need to get myself going. Free time! Okay, here we go. Free time. Alright, so. We are not going to stay in our room. We are going to go and start talking to some folks. Leave the area. Yes. Okay, let's take a look around and see who we can talk to. Let's check the dining hall. Let's see here. There's Celeste here. Let me check. Okay, I gotta think. Mm. Uh. Oh, as you imagine, Biakia is not available for this fight. I, I can only imagine. Um. I can only imagine. Well, my boss's name is Kenzen, he's a doctor, and a hyper boy, Lamal, and I'm completely safe, Jen, promise. I put OJ in the coffee maker to get the sleep with her, and the boys are back. Oh, you have kids? Everyone else is good. Who has kids? I'm so confused. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. So lost. So lost. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, so Celeste is in here. Let's check if Hifumi is in the kitchen, still trying to make that tea. Nope, nope, okay. Let's be honest. I have a crush on the donut. <laughs> Please stand. Uh, let's see. Um, let's see. Oh, wrong button. Okay. So, let me think. Okay. Let's think. Uh, let's try the bath. Read my message. Oh, hold on. I'm probably blind. One second, y'all. Hey, Michi, do you want to just call through Discord? Everyone else is good. Okay. Oh. Michi, you want to call through Discord? 
let's let's summon the boy. <laughs> of course you are. Of course you are. Um. Let's do this. Let's do that. Let's see. Where? Let's go to the school. Don't baby him. Don't baby him. He was meant to join me. Don't baby him. <laughs> Let me think. Uh, who do I want to try and find? That's what I really want to try and think. Who do I want to try and find? I think... Maybe I want to try and find Hifumi. Oh! Wow! My timing is impeccable! Ah, well, Where's the night? Funny meeting you here. Mm -hmm. A salute to you. you. A salute. I just saluted. Did you see? That was the ultimate Hifumi ultimate salute. Bam! Yeah, I'm gonna spend time with Hifumi. <laughs> Cosplayers these days are totally ignorant of the origin, history, and significance of their hobby. And if you don't know their history, you can never have a complete cosplay experience. So, Mr. Nyegi, be prepared for a glorious detailed history of the cosplay world now in 1955. I listened to Hifumi's <laughs> obsessed for way too long. Hifumi and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Hifumi a present? Yes, if I can. Oh, I have nothing to give him. Mm. Yeah, I'm sure. <laughs> I see quality in you, Miss Nagy. True quality. And that's why I've decided to present to you my lecture on the nature of fanfiction. If we're going to be friends, we must be fully informed. I'll permit it no fanfic bigotry whatsoever. Okay, your geek is a compliment. But you see, there's nobody on earth so full of knowledge as a geek. Yes, indeed. In a sense, a geek is like an expert. That's right, a total expert. A successful musician would not be necessarily a music geek. A good movie director is a movie geek, you see? It's those experts, those geeks, who open up the world to others. So when you say that writing fanfiction is geeky, you're recognizing us as true experts. Okay, so um, what exactly is fanfiction then? Oh, a super direct question. TMW. Basically, we all have different type kinds of stores and events, right? These are groups of unholy of holy warriors sell their own stuff based off games, mo comics, anime, and everything. And the stuff these people make is fanfic? Comics are a common creation, but it also includes games, music, and even merchandise. By the way, there is a name for when a group of fanfiction creators come together. Specifically, an organized group that comes together to release their work. A group that comes together to release their work. Oh. Uh. Maybe it's a menagerie. I mean, this is 2010s. I can't even think. Is it a menagerie? Well, I suppose on a technicality, Lingua Silva, that's true. But I'm talking about something a little more common. Listen, I'm sure you know. Go ahead and tell me. I'm guessing it's a circle. Is it a circle? It sure is! Of course I knew that! I mean, it's only common sense. I certainly hope you don't expect me to explain such common sense topics every time. Well, like I said, I don't know too much about this stuff. This goes well beyond I don't know too much. But I guess I can't blame you. The propaganda never touches on that. So as a fanfic ambassador, by the time I'm done with you, you'll be itching to buy a premium pass to the next fanfic con. <laughs> right? Obviously he's excited, but... <laughs> That's it for today. I hope you're excited for your next lesson. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for us, too. I'm kind of scared to see what the future has in store for us, too. 
The Fumi's report card has been updated with your experience for him. You just unlocked the skill handiwork. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Ooh. Let me do this. Still plenty of time. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna head back out again. Let's see. And I also like the eyes of... I want to go to Kirataka as well as I want to go and find Sakura as well. But I'm guessing Sakura is probably in the gym. Oh, there is Celeste too. That would be interesting. Yes, Michi is officially an internet boyfriend now for your for your affections. Go support him, he's fab. Trust me, the girls do be loving his yandere audio at the moment. The girlies, they do be loving it. They do be giving it five stars. They do be giving it the good Yelp reviews. No one's in here. Oh, God. Yes, leave the gym. Oh. Yes, leave the area. Why is it so hard to find people? Okay. I'm gonna go up here. Okay, let's see. I'm just looking for Sakura. Where is Sakura? Sakura! Please make me strong and buff too! Welcome, Mari san! Oh, there's Bia! Buyaku ya! Honestly, it's very good. He did a very good job, and he has another part two coming out soon. So he's doing great. I just want Sakura-san! I want to- I want her to train me in her ways! Sakura! I bet she's hanging out with Aoi at the pool or something, or in the gym. Where's the gym? Wait, hold on. Is the pool here? Yeah. I mean, she's hanging out with Owie. The weight room. Oh! Now this is an interesting poster. Obviously, <laughs> Day. She can turn me in her way, tee hee hee. Oh my god. Oh! Changing up the angles. I would expect the end pool. Okay. We're gonna leave because there's nobody here. This is an interesting poster. I just wanna find Sakura! Sakura! Sakura, please! I want to become strong! Where could she be? I 
is so sad. What if I was able to get her before and I can't get her now? I'm gonna be so sad. I'm not gonna be lying. I'm gonna be emotionally devastated. No. <sighs> I guess she's downstairs or something. <sighs> Heartbreak Hotel. I got some chocolate bars and two crispy garlic chip crispers garlic chips for the one of the people I live with. Ooh, let me see. Get him in the quest to become strong. And I've got a glass of table wine. Ooh, lovely. Tori one cafeteria. She's in the cafeteria? Damn it! Hold on. Wait, hold on. Guys, we're gonna go to the store first. Also, speaking of which, while we grab stuff from the store, I'm gonna do one quick thing. One quick thing, y'all. Sorry, y'all. Your girl has been a little hypocritical today because I told y'all to keep hydrated and I haven't been keeping myself hydrated. So I'm grabbing a little snack and another drink so that I can still function for y'all. Okay. Anyway, what happened last chapter? So last chapter, um, we were going through and we dealt with Sayaka's murder. We trialed Leon last chapter um, and it ended up um, that we sent Leon to his death, a death by a thousand, uh, by a thousand hits, I believe it was called, which is pretty crazy. It was a crazy time. Um, we gonna give it a shot. All right, let's give it a shot. Ooh! Uh, so how do we make this work, y'all? Uh, ooh. I don't know how many we... Oh. How do I do this? I don't know how I'm doing this. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta, I gotta try this again. Would you like to try your hand with the almond? Uh, let me learn more about it. Let's do that. During your stay here at Hope Speak, you'll be scattered around the school. Okay. Amount of coins, yes. You can use the handbook and see how many coins you have. Put the coins in the machine there, you can choose to win a prize. The more coins you use, the better you use something used. Check the present section of the handbook to review your prizes. Would you like to try your hand at the amount of coins? Yes, I would. I would like to give it a shot if you would let me hit a button. All right, let's give it a shot. Oh, here we go. To insert coins, use the mouse wheel to add or remove coins. If you hold down the right button, the amount of time will increase by increments of 10. Okay. To turn the knob, you must at least one coin in the left mouse button. Okay. The more coins you spend, most likely you will get a thing that you have never gotten before. Okay. Oh. Let's, let's, let's start with five. Let's go with a nice five number. Oh, you've got an item. Okay, awesome. Let's do another five. Got another item. Another five. Another item. Oh, a skull. 
try something like eight. A ring of some kind. Four coins. Cat clip. Okay. Why don't we leave for right now and we'll take a look at what we've got. Um, let's see. And then map. Okay. I'm trying to remember what I need to press to, to, um, get the the e-pad up or something uh let's see hmm. uh let's see oh f1 key okay oh shoot um so uh, hey uh, Meech, if you're still available, can you tell me what button to hit alternatively instead of F1 um, as it opens up uh, and kicks me out of the game temporarily? So, can anyone tell me? Am I only allowed to open the map indicator when I'm doing something in particular? Oof, do you, did you like Sayaka? Also, did you think she was going to survive? To be honest, I didn't know how the game was going to go, but she seemed to, like, she was so nice, but I knew, like, she's going to get targeted right away. I thought we were going to basically do a mission of keeping her safe the entire time, but no, she was very quick to go. I think you get, like, a hit my relationship you can do with Sakura or the Donut Girl. Oh, mm-hmm. Awesome. So I think we're gonna get here. That was there. Nope. So we gotta go this way. I don't know how I did it before. I gotta try and figure it out. It says F1, but... To the dormitory! To here? Oh. So currently, Gemini has blackberries and Pepsi. Feel the wind on my face. I should talk to Sakura for a while. Yes. I admire the almost greedy approach you take towards growing stronger. Now I'd like to begin training with you and my family's secret techniques. Ooh! Sakura introduced you to her family secrets. I feel like we've gotten a lot stronger. Sakura and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Sakura a present? Yes! Yes, I would! What would you like to give her? Okay. Let's take a look and see. Overflowing lunchbox. Interesting. Kitten hair clip. Jewel's diamond. Rolly slippers. But they don't tell me stats. Hold on. Okay. Let's give. Let's give the overflowing lunchbox. It's you seem like the kind of person that needs a good lunch. You plan on playing fan games? Maybe I would love to play some fan games. You don't need to go to all this trouble for me. Does it seem like she liked it? My post trading break is is the most relaxing time of my day. The sensation of your muscles cooling down after after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how many times I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you experience do you exercise every morning, Sakura? Unless there are errands that I absolutely can't get out of. Yes, I always do my training. If I don't, if I don't, I feel restless for the rest of the day. But I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Doesn't it get tough? I can't say I've never seen it as tough. It is all that I can do to get stronger. After all, I have to keep on getting stronger because my destiny is to fight. Your destiny is to fight? 
From the day I was born, I've been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as its champion. That's one heck of a legend. Dang! Sucker's the G! My father was my master, and every waking moment was spent with him learning to fight. As a child, I sparred with boxing champions and hit the mat with the wrestling gold medalists. I have no match for them when I first began, of course. But before long, they were no match for me. Let's go, Sakura! Go, go, big girl boss, let go! You mean you actually started beating people like that? I'd say my specialty is solid stand-up with that transitions into grappling and strong ground game. Essentially, it's a complex, complete approach. Anything else just wouldn't make sense. Mm. You can only become the best by reaching the top of each discipline and then fusing them all together. Mitching of ground game. Would that be Aikido? You mean Aikido? Focus is mostly on joints and throws, of course, but my technique involves everything. Standing up, grappling hands. Oh, then it would be, um... Mixed martial arts? You're basically a mixed martial artist, right? That's right! It's the most effective real world fighting style, which is why I chose it. So, here's one thing. So, my dad, for a fun fact, my dad did Aikido for a really long time. And my mom is trained in martial arts as well. So, I come from a family of martial artists. So I find it really interesting the way they describe each of the styles here. I find it interesting. I'll have to pop in time to time when you get into another series of fan games. Mm-hmm. I don't want to be just the best in competitions. I want to be the strongest human on Earth. Wow, that's a goal. I wouldn't bet against you, that's for sure. But are you already the best? No, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Oh, really? Until I can beat him, I'll never become the strongest. You mean there's someone out there stronger than you? Maybe I'll tell you about it another time, if the opportunity presents itself. Sakura didn't make a sound as she left. I honestly can't believe there's someone out there stronger than Sakura. Even if they're real, can they really be human? Sakura's report card has been updated on your experience with her. Your maximum skill poisons have increased. I head back to my room for a little while. Another day gone by. But even though today is over, this game definitely isn't. How long is it going to keep going? Ooh. All the stress and anxiety keeping me from falling asleep till late in the night. Monokuma Theater! Whenever I spot a cute girl, I have the tendency to stare. I can't help it, I just gaze with intensity. The other day I rode my bike to the train station. I was in the bathroom, just looking at myself in the mirror. Ooh, interesting. Good morning, everyone! It's now 7 a.m., and nighttime is officially over! Time to rise and shine! Get ready to greet another beautiful day! Well, I guess I better head to the dining hall before anything else. Oh. 
Is this everyone? It feels a little small. The Yakuya and Toto stormed off yesterday, and it wasn't too surprising that they hadn't come today. Oh. Even the table looks bigger somehow. Oh. I know Taka is just trying to keep people safe. I assume it's because these three people are dead and two are abstaining. Yeah, the five people missing, I guess it would feel kind of empty. Still, I know Byakuya or whatever. Shouldn't we go check on Toko? I don't know. She's super annoying. <laughs> How could you be so cold? You're like a piece of rock candy. You hear me? What? No, rock candy isn't cold. It's sweet. Anyway, Bianchi is the real problem. If we don't keep an eye on him, he might really kill someone. You can see it in his eyes. We got no choice. Get some rope. We're gonna have to keep him bound and gagged. Mondo really thinking ahead, bro. I think that's going a little overboard. He's right. In this situation, there's nothing scarier than when an ally turns a loose cannon. It's like when this gets sports day or whatever. What the fuck are you talking about? We gotta use the rope to do tug of war or something, idiot. I'm not an idiot. <laughs> You're an idiot. Oh, shit. Who are you calling stupid? <laughs> oh, Chihiro. What's wrong, Chihiro? You don't look so great. Well, I'm just getting through a little self-loathing. Self-loathing? Well, after what Biaki said to me yesterday, I just got so nervous I locked up. I couldn't say anything. Mondo help, ended up having to help me, and then he said I was someone who can't fight back. Aww. I hate how weak I am. Oh, Chihiro. Ah, I see you. So Mondo made you depressed. What? what? How is it my fault? Hey. I wasn't trying to be mean. Besides, girls are just naturally weak anyway, alright? Oh. Are you crying? No! You! It's because you were screaming like a lunatic. <laughs> hey, come on, don't cry. It's my fault, okay? I won't let you anymore. Mondo! Oh no, he's a softie. Really? Not sure I can believe that. Oh no, Mondo's a softie. Just shut up. I got it. I'll make you a promise as a man. Oh? Promise as a man? Maybe I mentioned this before, but ever since I was a kid, there was one thing my brother told me over and over again. He said, no matter what, a real man always keeps his promises. That's what he, that's what he left me. Left you? Oh, yeah. My brother's dead. Oh, I see. Anyway, I don't want to talk about it. You don't want to make- I don't want to make you guys cry. Yo. Anyway, so you can trust me when I make that promise. So don't got- you don't gotta cry anymore. Wow! Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Mondo. Oh my god, the friendship! Sure. But I still don't like how I am right now. I have to get stronger. Oh, hero. If I was so weak, anything could make me cry. That's not good. Still, don't stress out too much about having to get stronger. Um, no, I want to get stronger. Maybe I should start working out. In that case, I'd be happy to help you out any time. Sakura for the win! But then, Miss Fugyoshi would get smashed into tiny bits! Just a second. Shut up, you! <laughs> Oh, finally cracked a smile, huh? Yeah. Everyone, thank you. Looks like your hero got some life back. Oh. Yeah, man, if you keep helping each other out like this, we're bound to get this crappy place sooner or later. Can I just say, I have a terrible feeling that Chihiro is going to be the one to die. And I... I, I know it sounds terrible, and I, I hope to God I am wrong. I hope to God I am wrong. 
to God I'm wrong. I hope Chihiro is not the one who's going to die. Because honestly, like, I'm, I'm going to be so sad. I can't even. It's, it, it, they keep building up the fact that Chihiro is so, like, weak. And that's why I'm like, oh no. Like, this is the only thing that's going to they keep building up the fact that Chihiro is so weak and so small, and I'm like, oh, bro, I, I feel like Chihiro is absolutely about to get wrecked, and I'm so worried. I am so absolutely worried. Oh, my God. I mean, someday, I'm sure. Still, our biggest concern right now is the other two who never showed up for breakfast. What can I do to try and understand those two better? Okay, so what should I do today? Meet up with people and get stronger. That's what we should do. Free time! Okay. So, chat, you tell me. Who do you think I should talk to? Um, I think I get two people a day. So I'm thinking about going back to Sakura. I think I'm going to try and go back to um, Sakura. And I think also maybe go and find um, Taka. I'm not sure just yet. But I think those two would be good to talk to. Celeste? Okay. Celeste or Taka? Okay. Then I'll take a less look at Celeste or Taka. It should be easy to find them. I mean, I found them really easy last time. So let's try that. Celeste, Celeste, or Toko? Okay. Let's try for Celeste then. Let's go, let's go talk, let's go talk to, to Gambler Mommy. Let's go talk to her. Let's try and find it. I'm gonna address her as Gambler Mommy. Cause she really was doing a number on Hifumi. I'm not even gonna lie. That man was in the trenches the other day. Oh, did I get caught on the wall? Oh my God. Okay. Nightman was in the trenches, fighting for his life out here. No one's out here in the hallway, right? No, 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 no. Let's check the cafeteria first. I don't know why, but my head is heating up because I drink a whole glass of wine, but only three ice pieces. Oh, wow. I found Celeste right away. Cool. Oh, Makoto, I should tell you. I have recently seen the shadow of death upon you. <laughs> That's just a little joke. Should I hang out with Celeste? Yeah, let's hang out with Celeste. It would seem I have grown used to your deplorable face. Oh my god. The fuck? This is another aspect of adoption, I suppose. Despite her thinning veil of insults, I spent some time with Celeste. Okay. Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Celeste, Celeste a present? Uh, yeah, I think I got a skull. I think she'd like a skull. Let me go and find that little skull. Oh. Crystal skull. I would. Trying to draw me in with vulgar treatments. How unappealing. Oh! Would you perhaps bring me something more fitting, just fitting my standard? Oh, I don't think she's too happy with that. Makoto, I would like to share something with you. Oh? Huh? What is it? My perfect gambling strategy. Oh? 
Is there really such a thing? Indeed. Of course there is. Are you ready? Please pay attention. Whenever, when, whatever the game, you must have a mind for strategy. This will allow you to increase your odds of winning. Oh. However, the exciting part about gambling is that there is a power which can overwhelm any strategy. Oh. There is? That power is luck. Oh, luck. There's only two types of luck, good and bad. There is no in-between. And that luck is built in every human at the moment of conception, like a computer program. Okay. Some call it fate. The bottom line, luck is life. Do you see what I'm saying? Oh, you mean that's your perfect strategy? <laughs> Correct. You see, I'm programmed to have good luck when it comes to gambling. Oh. This is why I have never lost. That's all there is to it? <laughs> you are the ultimate lucky student, yes? Does this perhaps exceed my own luck? One day, I hope to put that to the test. Oh. I hope you are well. Mm -hmm. Well then, have a nice day. Gamber mommy liking skulls? What? I mean, I thought, you know, the whole gothic Lolita thing, I thought she would like the skull. Okay, I thought she'd like the skull, you know? I thought Gothic Lolita, we could go and give it a go. I mean... <laughs> Parting things with Celeste, okay. Okay. So let's see what to explore. I'm guessing this is like Animal Crossing as well, where you have to find the perfect gift for each of these people. We spoke to Celeste. Oh, there's Celeste again. Hold on. Let's do more Celeste. How are you? Makoto, how are you? Yeah, I would like to hang out with Celeste. Play a game of chance with me? Oh! Sure. I'd be happy to empty your wall you wallet and show it to you. Oh! Slef just gave me the business. <laughs> Celeste and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Celeste a present? Um... What would you like to give to her? Despair bat, school crest. actually a brand name diamond popular using gidget rings although this one's just an imitation so I can have this I may have to revisit my initial impression of you oh <laughs> the more wonderful things I receive from you the better impression I get seeing Celeste so pleased with something I gave her makes me happy oh so she likes expensive things say Makoto do you like Mahjong, I've never actually played. Is that so? A pity. I was hoping we might play together. You can teach me, though! Are you good at it? Yes. Good? No, I am not merely good. I once played a game of Russian Roulette Mahjong and won. Oh! What a spicy game! Russian Roulette. A truly fiery contest put, put on by a half-insane billionaire in the basement of his mansion. Oh my god! The opponents were fierce old men and a silver-haired boy who had who was said to have had the devil's own luck. Oh. We played with a modified rule set, and I remember, well, glass tiles we used. 
And you won? I defeated them both at once. I will never forget the angry, twisted look on their faces. Wow. The crowd had been invited to watch became positively riotous. Nobody could believe I had won. <laughs> that was one of my fond memories. Wow. I'm really glad I didn't play Mahjong with her. <laughs> Celeste Report has been updated with your experience with her. Your maximum number of skill points has increased. Hey, look at you go. That's a reference to the one I told you about. Oh! Unable to comprehend Celeste. Okay. I feel a little hungry. Something to eat before midnight. I should have been the dining hall, I guess. Yes. Like myself, we have late night snackies. Let's go. I just want to get something to eat. And now I'm about to get roped into something like this. Actually, no. I guess I'm already roped in. Hey, Makoto, perfect timing. Huh? What's going on? I have a favor to ask. A favor? I had a bad feeling about this. Go on, Makoto. You gotta be our witness. Witness? Witness to what? This guy's been talking shit about me since day one, calling me a coward and shit like that. Oh! You are a coward, and that is why you turn to violence to solve your problems. Oh, shit! Why are you psychoanalyzing this man? That is why you can't do what society asks you and why you walk around dressed like that. Hey, don't be flaunting on this man's style. The man looks fresh. The fuck you say? Oh my god, you don't know shit. Oh, hold on. You've already lost yourself and you're such a coward you don't even realize it. Bro, you look like a dictator. Chill. So what are you saying? You're not a coward? You think you're tougher than- Oh, frick. Oh, no. I know I am. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, then let's throw down. Prove what you got. Prove what I don't got. Oh, shoot. I accept your chip. Guys, guys. What? So what's happening, Makoto? You're going to be our witness? Oh, oh, oh. You're going to throw down? You're going to, like, start punching each other, are you? Mono has drip. There's a bathhouse on the first floor of the dorm, right? With the sauna inside? I see. I see. A simple endurance contest it is. We're going to see who can last the longest in the sauna, am I right? God damn straight. Oh, my God. Are you guys really going, gonna go through with this? Shit, yeah. <laughs> He'll be done in a matter of minutes anyway. People like him are without exception. All talk. Oh my god. Bring it on, bro. It's about to get for real. Let's make things interesting. Wouldn't want to win without a challenge, right? Interesting. We're gonna battle with all our clothes on. Oh, shoot. That's idiotic. Suicidal. You what? You afraid? <laughs> You're gonna regret the Oh my god, these two are about to fucking die. Shut up and let's do this. Oh my god. They about to die. Oh my god, not the cutscene. I like that he's wrapped his hair. <laughs> Oh my god. It just so happens, I was born with a red face. Mm. You don't have to act all big, man. These two are fighting. Act, you say? <laughs> I'm still plenty good to go. I'm so good. I could eat a steaming hot bowl of soup right now. Are they okay? I tried to push my concern aside. A few minutes passed. And then a dozen minutes. And then an hour. Oh my god. Oh my god. Is Monokuma gonna allow this? Good. 
that probably means you're dying. Hey, um, guys, I know you both want to prove how big of badasses you are, but, uh, don't you think you've done enough? Oh, yeah, I just can't win. It's 10 p.m. Damn it, I just wanted a snack. Better crawl on your back to the room. I'll let you know how it went in the morning. Then you can start spreading my my legend. Come tomorrow morning. You'll fall you'll fall down in front of me, down on your knees. I'll show you where to do it. Oh my god. Talk big talk for someone whose face is about to explode. Just kiss and make up! Right back at you. Just kiss and make up! Okay, well, good night then. Oh, I really hope those two don't overdo it. And I didn't even get my snack. But I'm sure to the death? No, surely they wouldn't go that far. Bro. The concern stayed with me as I slowly succumbed to sleep. Yes, I'm concerned! If fate does exist, does that mean your future is decided the moment you're born? If all your yesterdays pile up to create your tomorrow, is your future as final as your past? I just don't know. That's why I'm still alive. Hmm. These monochrome theaters are very interesting to me. Mondo and talk to survive. <laughs> Worried about the two of them, I hurry to the dining hall more quickly than usual. Yeah. And when I entered. <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? <laughs> what are you talking about, bro? Yay, they're best friends now! What the? Hey, Makoto! Thank you so much for acting as our witness yesterday. Huh? They're friends now? Yeah! They've been like this all morning. They were all buddy-buddy as soon as we walked in. It feels gross. <laughs> Bro. Feels gross? Hell no. Feels great! More like it. This man has now got a support system. This almost feels like sexual harassment, you know, somehow? Forget her, bro. A girl like her just doesn't get our manly bond. Oh, now kiss! <laughs> Friendship between men is stronger than blood. A woman can never understand. Oh my god. What do you say, bro? That was cool as shit. I should get a tattoo of it. Bro. No, bro, you mustn't. Your body is a temple given to you by your loving parents. Bro, this man is wild. Uh, so, who won the contest? 
Who gives a shit? Well, yeah, don't ask stupid questions. What matters is that we both took part in it together. Okay, 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 okay. They're completely different from what they were saying last night. I see. Friendship between men seems very simplistic. Nothing like what I'm used to with girls. <laughs> yeah, for real. <laughs> Wild. All through breakfast that morning, the room was dominated by Mondo's and talk of overwhelming brother, overpowering brotherhood. All in all, it was a pretty unfortunate experience. Damn. So what should I do today? Ding dong. Ooh. Hmm. Who could that be? Wondering who had come to visit, I opened the door and someone forced their way in. What is with people forcing their way into my damn door? Oh! Why the fuck are you in my room, crazy? Toko? What's the matter? What's your problem? Why are you so surprised? Am I really that anno annoying? Well, I already know I'm annoying. I came here knowing that, so... That makes it okay. Togo, why the fuck are you in my room? No, you're not annoying. I'm just wondering what's going on. I have a favor to ask. Oh! I want you to go somewhere with me. And where is it that you want to go? Well, the library. Oh! Huh? You're looking for a book or something? Why don't you ask Byakuya? He spends all his time in the library anyway. <laughs> Did I say something wrong? Y you're not a blatherruff, right? This has to be a secret. Oh. I honestly have no idea what you're talking about, but if you want me to be quiet, I'll be quiet. Then let's go to the library. Oh, she has a crush on the boy. Quiet. Be quiet when you go in. Don't let him see you. She actually was starting to get annoying, but I did what she said and gently crept into the library. She's in love with Byakuya. Unsurprisingly, Byakuya was there by himself, absorbed in a book. There he is. Ah, he's really here. Okay, Bokoto, go talk to him. What? Stop being loud. Just hurry up and go talk to him. About what? Talk to him if you want to so bad. I can't. I don't want to interrupt him. Oh, that's kind of crazy. He seems really focused on that book. It doesn't seem like the best time to talk to him. Hey, you. What are you doing back here? I hate even having to look at you. Ah, so you noticed me, huh? Of course. Now hurry up and leave. And take her with you. Hmm? Hey, um, Byakuya. Remember how you said, don't be a woman who dominates weak men. Be a woman who dominated by a strong man. Ooh, sh Girl! I never said that. Well, actually, I just thought it would sound like something you might say. Toko! Get out. Oh! And go take a bath. You swear. Ooh! Ooh! Don't make me say it again. Go now before your stench left is onto the entire room. Hey, don't be like that. Leave the girl alone. Okay. Disrespectful, Biakia. Yeah. He really dug into us there. Maybe he's in a bad mood. Oh, she's really super, seems super depressed. Did he really upset her that much? Biakia to go that far. He must really be concerned. Whoa. Huh? He told me to take a bath and everything. He must really care about my well-being. Whoa. Hey, Makoto. What do you think? Think about what? Do you think Bianca and I would be good together? Whoa. I was right. Well, now, I, I, I don't really know. That's true. 
There's really no way to know. But the distance between us doesn't change our love. Oh, yandere! Because as soon as you realize your feelings, the love is born. That's how love works. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> there might come a day when you understand. Maybe someday. No, Toko, I don't think I will. Well, bye. Bye. Bye, crazy. Monokuma. Young love. Monokuma. <laughs> Who would have ever guessed she would go for someone like him? I, I mean, I expect her to go for someone somewhat nicer. Uh, but eager passion can also be scary. Sometimes that leads people off in the wrong direction. All of a sudden, I feel exhausted. Bro. Maybe I'll head back to my room for now. Okay, so some time left in the day. Okay. Alright, guys. Who should we meet up with? Let's check the dining hall. Oh, Mundo is in here. Mm. Let's do. Okay, we'll do. To to wait, Toko or Taka? Who do you mean? Just to just to clarify, Toko or Taka? I forget who's available and who's not. Okay. The girls are in here. Oh! Everyone except Biaki is available. Okay. Toko, the girl that what what started and deserves better. <laughs> I'm so worried about like honestly, she gives uh, she gives me the creeps. Like something about her gives me the absolute creeps. Like something is about to be very unnerving with that girl. I I don't even know how to describe it. I don't want to judge her right away, but she. She gives me very not good vibes. So Celeste is there. Let's find Toko. She says it with me now. Masochist. I vote for Celeste or Toko. Okay, so let's take a let's take a look and look for Toko first. Cause usually I think you can do two. Who is Donut Woman? Guys, I need to remember who's Donut Woman. Is it Aoi? Is that who it is? the donuts I need another description besides donuts please oh Kyoko Owie's oh, donut woman okay 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 then let's let's talk to Togo and then we'll go and get go and speak to Owie because we know she's in the laundry I just where's Togo I feel, but I, I really, I'm not gonna lie to you. I feel like Togo gonna stab me in my neck or something. Like, Togo, Togo makes me real nervous. You have one more free time. So one more free time after this free time? Okay. I just, okay, so let's, so so here's the plan. We're gonna talk to Toko, we're gonna talk to Celeste, and we're gonna talk to Aoi. And see what we can do. Uh, I gotta think of where we've, uh, I feel like I've checked the classrooms, but. 
Does the map tell you where? I don't think the map actually tells us where. You know what I forgot? I, can fa I forgot I can fast travel, I think, right? Now the question is, how do I fast travel? Running... Oh, the shift key, okay. Oh, put them boots in hyperspeed. Okay, we got the speed. Charge my tablet. If the time goes past nine o'clock, I'll be busy playing the new Texas Chainsaw multiplayer game. Okay. That's the door. The girls are going to look at. Okay. Um. Okay. I ain't gonna. Toko is in her dorm room. Okay. Oh, the dorm rooms are also an option. Okay, okay. So you can actually go click on the dorm rooms. Okay, we're gonna go to the dorm. To the dorm! Thank you guys for bearing with me as I have no plan on how to find any of these people. Toko. I guess I should press the doorbell. Did you come here to yell at me? No. My whole life is just one pleasant experience after another. No, I'm just here to talk. Um, should I hang out with Toko? Let's, let's spend time with Toko. I was perfectly happy spending time by myself. Okay, well if you don't want me there, that's fine. But I guess if you're so desperate for attention, I can hang out for a little bit. Oh my god. Toko and I grew a little closer today. Would you like to give Toko a present? I feel like Toko would want the skull. I don't know. I don't know. I, I gotta... Hold on. I'm gonna do a thing. Sorry guys. I wanna see... Okay, let's go in. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. She's just standing there. Does she want something? She's not saying anything. Maybe I should try to start a conversation. Um, Toko? What? You want to talk to me? Well, I can't stop you, so talk already. Okay, sure, but what should I say? Um... What do you like to do in your spare time? Why do you want to know? Well, I mean, you know, we're trapped here together, right? And if we're gonna be friends, it'd be nice to get to know each other. Oh, why'd you just say? Um, after that part about being trapped, we're going to be what? F friends? Mm -hmm. What do you mean friends? You think I'm stupid? You're trying to trick me, girl. I'm just trying to be upfront. I've been been hurt once before. I'm not gonna let it happen again. Whoa! You've been hurt. What happened? Come on, you really don't care about me. I don't even get to know you, girl. I don't even know you enough to know. You don't want to know about me, even I know that. No, that's not true. Fine, then tell me. Tell you what? You know. Why they call me the ultimate writing prodigy, right? Yeah, sure, you've won all kinds of literary prizes and stuff. 
Then tell me what I'm good at. Tell me what my genre specialty is. If you really want to convince me you give a crap, at least know that. The genre of the sh I think you're into romance. It's romance, of course. You, you actually knew? Yeah! Your basic success was Lingers in the Ocean, right? Everyone says it's your masterpiece. The book was such a hit that fishermen shot up to the top of the top of the all the hottest men poles, right? How did you know all that? <laughs> There's no way you care about me. I'm telling you, I do. I mean, we're friends, aren't we? Huh? I'm blind. Your straightforward nature blinded me. <laughs> Runs away. Koko ran off screaming like a bitch. <laughs> Oh my god. I'm not really sure. Does she hate me now? Togo's report card has been updated based on her experience. Okay. Skill and vocabulary. Give yourself a pat on the back. You've earned it. Okay. Imagine writing a book so good you make the entire profession attractive. <laughs> Reminder that this is the person I'm all in for. All in on. Oh my god. Oh, Toko. Nighttime. Again, the school announcement. Okay. Oh. Oh. Gather in the gym? Now all of a sudden? I really don't like the sound of this. Oh. I have a terrible feeling. Oh no! Did someone die already? Oh shit. I'm a Junko sim, but we all know I'm in <laughs> I'm not gonna lie to you. Uh, if we were gonna talk about characters, uh, Female characters, Junko is definitely my type. Um, Junko is definitely my type in females. Um, I even like Kyoko a little bit. Um, and then if we're going to talk about men, Mundo. He's my type. I like Mundo. I like this boy right here. This boy right here. With his lobster hair. Boys like this. I'm a, I like him. Yeah. What's that way? I don't like it, but nothing good can come from you or in the goddamn bird. Uh, Mundo, are you sure okay with you when you went all out in the sauna? Who we went all out? The shit didn't even face me. But you know, there's an edge of hell. A promise between men is waiting for me. Never shall it come. Anyway, let's get our asses off to the gym. Man, something you need must have happened between the two of them. <sighs> okay. I like him. He's he's I like his straightforward attitude. I kind of like it. <laughs> Window is definitely my favorite. I like him. I like him a lot. Oh, of of the guys, he's totally I I like him. He's good. I'm like, "Ooh." I also and here's my thing. I've heard a lot of people say the Biakia, everyone likes Biakia. He is not my type of dude. I'm I'm going to be straight up. I don't like Biakia. Um I, I don't like his attitude. I think he mad disrespectful. Mm, asking us all to gather together all of a sudden like this. What could he possibly want? Indeed, what might await us this time? <laughs> he keeps things interesting, that's for certain. How is that funny? Can't you smile like a normal person once in a while? <laughs> Like how the housewife on a classic TV show smiles at the end of an episode. What the heck? There's something totally natural with you if you can laugh at a time like this. Which of us is actually messed up, hmm? What's that supposed to mean? Nothing in particular. Just admiring. That's all. I don't want to kill anyone. 
But I also don't want to stay here living in a blind denial all day after day. I was just so admiring how you could live like that and keep your sanity. What is this? I'm not in denial. That reminds me, remember who kept talking about how the police or whoever was going to come help us? How'd that turn out? Seems to me that there's no sign whatsoever of a possible rescue. Well, we all saw terrible shit was happening to the people we cared about. I wonder what actually happened. Certainly. It's strange. That's true. By all assessments, Aoi's assessments should be correct. There's no way the police wouldn't know about it. They're in the middle of a major urban area. That makes sense. I'm saying, Aoi has every right- The police- God damn it, Hifumi. On the contrary, the mastermind may just be powerful to take e on even the police. Oh. Could it be? This might not be related, but... <laughs> then don't say it. Hmm. Nope, I'm gonna say it. It's, not like some it's about last history. night. When I was near the main hall, just staring off into space, then all of a sudden, I heard it. What did he hear? You heard what? A sound that I don't really know what it was. What kind of sound? Like I said, I don't really know. But if I had to describe it, it was like a construction site, I guess. Oh? A construction site? I mean, I couldn't just, I could just be making it up. I only just barely heard anything. Then you definitely made it up. Must have been the sound of the ocean in that head of yours. Say what? What you talking about, Toko? Oh? A person with question marks? He's arrived. What Hero heard wasn't the sound of construction, but it could have been an explosion. Hmm? Or maybe a machine gun. That can kind of sound like construction in a way. What are you talking about? Uh -huh. Beyond this point, my mouth is zipped. My lips are sealed. I'm fully puckered. It's a secret little secret. I bet people are trying to save us. Fine. Let's move on to what you can tell us. Why did you call us all here? Oh, you don't beat around the old bush, do you? Ready for me to get to the point, huh? But before that, mind if I vent a little? I'm low on energy these days. My stitching even's losing its shine and luster. I'm thinking it'll probably become become of this so um, boring old everyday life. I'm looking for something a little more stimulating. Something rife with danger and intrigue. Yes. Listen, can I just be frank? Today. The next blackened hasn't shown up yet and I'm getting bored! Hey. So I've decided to come up with a new way to motivate you. Oh, fuck. Motivate? Is it another set of videos or something? Are you gonna show us some demented thing and try and drive us all to murder? Drive you to murder? What a mean thing to say! Just awful! I don't know what you've got planned, but we're not gonna kill each other anymore! No matter what you do, I swear to God we won't! Hmm, that's big talk. Do your very best to back it up, okay? Now then, with your permission, let me begin. So, this time, it's... Embarrassing Memories and Secrets. Oh. As long as you're alive, it's a given that there's things you don't want other people to know about you. So I did a little investigating of my own, and I dug up some of your darkest secrets. Oh, shit! And those embarrassing memories and secrets? Oh. 
As Makuma spoke, he tossed the envelopes in our feet. Oh, shit. Nervously pulled out what I written inside. My entire body suddenly went rigid. Makoto wet the bed until he was in the fifth grade. <laughs> Fuck. What? Oh? How? How'd you find out about this? Everyone started talking at once. You have 24 hours. If someone doesn't become blackened by then... All your deepest, darkest, most embarrassing secrets will be exposed to the world. Oh. Maybe I'll roll by a crowded intersection in a van, strapped with a loudspeaker, and spill the beans. Yeah, won't that be so embarrassing? So that's what you meant by motivate. Yep, you got it. They're all pretty unpleasant, trust me. None of you want me to reveal that stuff, right? It's definitely something I'd rather people not know, but... We'd never kill over something like that. What did you say? He's right, your plan is doomed to fail. No one's gonna murder someone for this kind of thing. Oh no. Is it because for better or for worse, your memory is still a way to connect to the outside world? I have stuff I wouldn't want anyone to know no matter what, so I assumed you'd be the same. Which is why I put so much effort into preparing this next motive. <laughs> Man, you're saying you really won't kill each other over this stuff? That just sucks. Well, what can you do? Okay, then in 24 hours I'll expose all your secrets just to make myself feel a little better. Okay. So sad, so depressing. Fair not well. With almost convincing look of des despair and dejection on his face, Monokuma receded into the gym's depths. I mean, damn. I don't know what to expect at first, but maybe we dodged a bullet on this one. I mean, yeah, having those secrets revealed is going to be totally embarrassing. But that's seriously not enough to give someone a reason to kill, right? Well, I mean, it depends on the secret. Good news, everyone. I have a brilliant idea. Why don't we all confess those secrets in those envelopes right now? Right here and now. Oh, good idea! If we do that, all, all, any and all motive for murder will vanish. That's pretty smart, right? I mean, that, I mean, that's not a bad idea. Okay, so my embarrassing thing is... I don't want to hear your stupid story. Don't go! Let the man speak. What? Besides, I, I don't, I don't want to talk about it. I don't care what anyone says, I don't want to talk about mine. Toko. Neither do I. Not because it's unpleasant, but because it's impossible. Well, it's because human nature, I want to hear it. Then, when you say it's impossible, come on, it'll be good for you. About absolutely not. It's okay, just a little bit. Come on, come on, come on. As I said. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. I said I don't want to talk about it, you human bag of lard. Ooh. Yeah. I agree with them. There's no need to discuss it. What do you think, Chihiro? Sorry, I don't really want to talk about it right now. I'm very interested. But I also don't want to leave things the way they are, so maybe I can talk about it later. After I try my best to become strong, then I can tell everyone. So if you don't want to talk about it, you don't have to. I'm not super excited to talk about it either. Oh, everyone's got something. If everyone that much against it, even if my bro's the one that suggested it, I gotta say no. Well, that's okay then. Either way, if it's just a few secrets, I'm sure nobody is about to kill anybody over it. I hope you're right. A secret so bad, you'd kill someone to keep it. 
Nobody's got something like that, right? I mean... I'll stop with all the secret talk, but... Each one of us has 24 hours to get ready. Having our secret exposed isn't going to be fun, but it's not like we're going to die because of it. Oh, I'm so certain someone's about to die because of it. So, you know, uh, don't do anything hasty. The way you keep repeating it kind of makes me worried even more. I mean, I'm, I'm nervous that someone would have something. Uh, okay, sorry, I know it's going to be tough, but... This is a school announcement. It is now 10 p.m. Such, it's officially night time. Oh, let me look. Who do you want the next victim or killer to be? I mean, I don't know who I want the next victim to be. Or the killer. I just want us to survive somehow. Hell no, I don't even know what's gonna happen with Junko. R.I.P. Jen, may she rest in peace. Don't let this, don't let this man cook. Oh my god, the Christmas compilation. It's night time! Secrets are memories you don't want anyone to know about. A way to connect to the outside world. Honestly, all that crap Monokuma was spouting didn't have any effect on me. There's no way anyone would kill over stuff like that. At least, that's what I thought. I knew it! Someone's gonna die because of it! But maybe, I was just being optimistic. That's probably means someone has something really fucking dark. Jeez, I'm more tired than usual. Super tired today. I fell asleep. That's what I didn't know was even then a tragedy was taking place. A gun? Hey, do you have a secret? I want to confide in you. About to prevail world attitude right now. The difference between passive and active, I mean. For example, it's the difference between, oops, I killed him, and yeah, that's right, I killed him. Amazing, there are tons of people who don't understand the difference. Can you believe it? There's a huge difference between oops and that's right. You know what I'm saying, right? Anyone can kill someone in the heat of the moment, but surprisingly few can do it in a calculated intent. To make that choice, then let's put it into action of why it's harder than letting your emotions lead you. It's all about preparation, resolve. So maybe you're wondering, what's the point I'm trying to make? Well, well I'm totally sure myself. Maybe you should try reading me Hello. Welcome, Komorov. Welcome. I'm a big fan of Persona, actually. I love the Persona series. But I'm interested. I like the murder mystery aspect of this. Good more. Whoa! Why are you in my room, though? Guys, <gasps> Ranch, I'm glad to see you didn't disappoint. What? What are you doing here? Yeah. I wanted to spice things up, so instead of the school announcement, I decided to wake you up in person. Wow. What the hell for? Because it's fun. As long as I'm here, I figured I'd let you hear it right from the bear's mouth. Hmm? Hear what? Are you sure you should be acting this laid back? I mean, even though something happened to one of your buddy-buddy classmates? Oh, shit. What? Your face is all blue like someone is on the verge of death. What, what happened? What are you talking about? Phew, that's for me to know and for you to find out. Good luck. Something happened to someone. Oh, bro, what is it? What is it? Bro, 
No, it can't be. Hold on. We're going to do it by click by click. Um, but, uh, so I'm a big fan of the Persona series. I absolutely love Persona. I think it's great. Um, if you haven't checked it out, Michi does amazing Persona playthroughs, so he's a big fan. Um, I think they're very hard to, I think these two games are so separate that you cannot compare the two. Like, Danganronpa is very obviously not at all Persona. Like, it's, in my mind, extremely different than Persona. To, in my brain, it's extremely different. Danganronpa is a is a mystery style novel with specific item quests, while Persona is story based, but it's combat related and it's completely different. I think it's completely separate, but per, both games are great in my personal opinion. Um, but they're completely cannot be compared. They are two very separate ideals and two very separate gameplay and storyline mechanics. Thank you, Tyrant King. Persona is goaded. Actually, my cell phone is Persona 5 themed, which is fantastic. Won't be as easy as 11073. They are indeed very different games. Yep, there's no way someone would, but what if? But what if it's pointless, especially now when? The dining hall, I need to get to the dining hall. JTRPG and one is a murder mystery. I mean, yeah, they're completely different. Ah, Makoto. Are you okay? Hey, hey Monokuma, will talk to you too. Damn, he popped up in everybody's face. Hero, Hina, Sakura. You're the only ones here? Where's everyone else? Either they're already off trying to verify what Monokuma said. Or they've fallen victim to something that Monokuma mentioned. So every he went to everyone talking about it. Okay. The something? It can't be. Has it happened again? Murder? Boom. After hearing what Monokuma had to say, the worst possibility forced its way into my mind. I took everything I had to drive through. Drive that thought away. So if something really did happen, does that mean someone did it because of what happened yesterday? Huh? It can't be. That stuff is a bunch of old memories. And secrets. Just old memories. Don't be so sure about that. No, it's secrets and memories. Clearly someone felt it was more important than that. Yeah, I mean... Mm-hmm. To judge someone else's values based on your own outlook, do you realize how dangerous that is? What? Why didn't you say something yesterday? Naturally. Did you already forget? This isn't a co-op game. It's every man for himself. <sighs> what good does it do me to get out of my... Do me to get out of the way to help Just others? Stop saying that already. There's something wrong with him for serious. Did he get brainwashed or something? Wait. That's not important. What matters right now is we find out what happened. I mean, yeah. That's fine. That's right. Let's all split up and begin looking. The game is afoot. Okay. Uh, yes. We're leaving the area. I'm just fascinated as to what could have happened. Let's see. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Um. Okay, guys, where do you think I should go? I think... I feel like it's gotta be in the school, right? It would've had to have been in the school. I feel like it would've had to be a school. In the school. In Hope's Peak. Um, gonna say this now. You'll be okay. They're there. It's okay. Oh, shit. I pr You know what I hope? I have a terrible feeling what's going on here. I kind of have a bad gut feeling. 
We've had too much emphasis on Chihiro. I feel like Chihiro is dead. Okay. Too much emphasis on one character. This this can only lead to misery. And I'm going to be really sad because I actually like Chihiro. And Chihiro is trying to support everybody. I am... I'm not gonna lie. If it is Chihiro, I'm gonna be really sad. I, I'm gonna be really upset. Where is... Uh, where's the... I forgot. Hold on, I need to pull up the map. Oh, it's this hallway. Here it is. Let's try here. We'll work from here onwards. I don't see anything here. Can't go into the girls' locker room. The door's open, but these aren't supposed to... But aren't these supposed to lock? Oh, so someone was in here? Someone in here? Uh-oh. Investigation, I have unlocked the doors. Okay. Oh, fuck. <laughs> Pardon my French. Sorry, guys. Oh! Byakuya! Judging from what he said, there's no doubt a real murder has taken place. Come on. In the locker rooms, they're suspicious. Very suspicious indeed, wouldn't you agree? Hmm, suspicious. It seems nobody searched the locker rooms. Let's start with the girls' locker room. He muttered as he talked to himself. Without waiting for a bite, he pressed his hand against the girls' door. And the door swung open without a sound. In that moment, time seemed to freeze. Oh. <gasps> what? I don't know how long it took for me to fully comprehend the reality of what I was looking at. But as soon as I did... A wild, almost primeval s scream escaped my mouth. Deadly life. I knew it! The poor baby! I tried to suppress my scream, but it was useless. Ugh. Okay, on the other hand. Most unusual, don't you think? He was almost calm. Totally calm. Almost as if he was watching it all unfold in front of a TV screen. Look, Shihiro's corpse has been suspended somehow. And something was written on the wall in blood. Bloodlust. Such a brutal way to kill someone. No, this is beyond brutal. Wouldn't you agree? They killed her. How could it not be brutal? No, that's not my point. This murder is far too bizarre for any everyday amateur to have committed it. Unlike with Sayaka, this murder is not a crime of passion or necessity. It's almost as if some, whoever did it did it for fun. You see what I mean, don't you? What? My head was swimming. I'm still reeling, too. Confused to understand what he's trying to say. Before I could even begin to clear my head. Hey, I heard a scream. Her screaming did something. <gasps> Chihiro. Bro. What the hell was that? That's right. You were unconscious during Sayaka's, so you don't know about it. What you just heard was the body discovery announcement. Apparently when three or more people discover a body, an announcement plays to let everyone know. I imagine it's so that the search for the culprit can proceed fairly with everyone involved. Proceed fairly. The body discovery announcement, then she really is... Dead. Yes. Did 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 before you start screaming your head off, go round up everyone. It seems another game has begun. Another life or death game to uncover of a killer. 
Oh, bro, Taka. Dude, this is... He, oh, shit. I, and also, here's my thing. I, I try to judge on the characters based on what, like, I feel like makes sense. Um, and finally came back to look at myself and saw everyone with a look of confusion, fear, and anger. Um, so I'm going to stop the autos. But, um... Sorry, I'm starving. I'm starving. I'm trying to live. I'm trying to eat out here. Um, but uh, what I find super interesting right now, <sighs> what I find super interesting is we focused on Chihiro, and Chihiro is the one who's dead. So I'm going to keep that in mind, that if we start kind of emphasizing on certain characters, they're probably going to be important to the chapter, which just makes sense by a literary expensive, like a literary sense, anyway. Um, but my question is, she's suspended in the air, bloodless behind, um, she's in the girls' locker room, um, interesting. And also, the, here's the thing, Chihiro is small, and can easily be overpowered by someone who's really weak. I, the only thing, I can't say exactly who I think it is right now. I'm... I mean, it, as long as they had her e-handbook, anyone could bring her into the girls' locker room, right? Because that's what Celeste puts in. Celeste puts in that if anyone was to take someone else's, like, e-pad, they could have gone into the rooms, right? So if, if, if Chihiro is dead, it doesn't essentially mean a woman has to be the one who killed Chihiro. That's the first thing. Also, I don't think it's any of the girls that killed Chihiro. The only girl I think who would be strong enough to kill Chihiro in some way... Uh, actually, hmm, well, how do we think it? Sayaka was pretty small, and she used or attempted to use a knife. But I don't see anything. It looked like a head thing. It looked like Chihiro got hit in the head. I don't know how to describe it. It looks like there was blood pooling, so I'm guessing they got hit in the head or they got strangled. But that takes a lot of force. So I'm guessing it has to be a strong character. So that narrows it down to Mondo, Sakura, me. Well, I wouldn't say Taka because Taka's freaking the fuck out, right? So, I mean, of the tall girls, could be Sakura, could be Toko, could be Mundo. And maybe even the clairvoyant guy, but he seems so out of it that he isn't acting any different. That's why I'm like, I, maybe, I don't think it's him, but he is. He would, does fit the profile of being tall enough. So, I don't know. It's interesting. We all stood there gathered around Chihiro's body. Damn. Damn, I couldn't keep her safe. Oh, Sakura. Is there, so there's another victim, which means we're now in the same position once again. Fuck, man. What the fuck is this? It's a dream. This is a dream. It all is just a dream. In fact, I haven't even been born yet. I don't have every, ever, ever being alive. Oh, that's odd. Um... That's odd. Okay, I don't know if you guys are noticing the panel. Actually, I'll wait till it kind of comes on stream, I think. But um, behind Hifumi, in the upper left-hand corner, there is a poster um, that was in the men's room. The, the men's, the boys' locker room had, had this poster of the girl on the back. And that's got blood on it. But. Weird. That's weird. Not to be judgmental. Not to say there aren't any, you know, 
queers in the in the group of the people here, but I'm pretty sure that poster was in the other room, right? I'm pretty sure. Shut up. Huh. I mean... Just... Hold on, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm gonna move a little bit, guys. Okay, so let's talk about this. So, Chihiro is suspended here. Blood is there. Poster's there. Bloodlust on the wall. Alright, so let's work on the crime scene first. Okay, key points. So we're gonna go here. For now, pay attention to the wall, huh? I said it once again. There's a word written there on the wall. Okay, I know, but I want to search the body. Fuck y'all. The word bloodless is written on the wall in blood. I don't think it's any kind of dying message. It's just too strange. That's like a calling card. But you know, that thing about writing bloodlust in blood, doesn't that kind of sound familiar? Yeah. A murderous fiend who kills again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. At the scene of each crime, they write the word bloodlust. Is written in the victim's own blood. They're like a ghost, attacking something, then slipping away when the police can catch them. What kind of nickname does the internet give us, Mr. Oken? Genocide Jack. Genocide Jack, the murderous fiend whose guerrilla attacks were famous all across the country. The ultimate murderous fiend, creating a reputation of abnormal, downright cruelty killings. Then this is some copycat killer trying to imitate Genocide Jack's style. So why would anyone do that? Perhaps it's the work of the real Genocide Jack. The real? Wait, are you saying Genocide Jack is here in the school? No There's no way. But going so far as to write bloodlust at the scene, I'm surprised at their stupidity. I can't imagine a worse situation than dealing with a stupid murderer. Ah, what is it now? Toko! Tina points towards the entrance of the girls' locker room. Uh huh. Togo was the last to arrive, and now she's just standing there. Why? 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 Whoa! Different animation. Oh, did she collapse? Oh, shoot! Homegirl fainted. That does not sound good. Togo. Ifumi rushes over to Clax Togo and starts trying to shake her awake. Togo, are you okay? Come on, wake up! Oh, that's right. I just remember what she said about how she faints anytime she sees blood. So she's hemophobic. I imagine she doesn't want, doesn't watch too many horror films then. Isn't this a violation of the rules, right? I mean, technically she passed out somewhere besides her room. No, I think it would be okay. The regulations prohibit sleeping, like on purpose. So since she didn't faint on purpose, it doesn't count. Gotcha. Toka, can you hear me? Hey, you gotta wake up. As if she heard her, Toka suddenly shot awake. As in, she literally jumped from the floor where she was laying. Oh, shit. It was such a strange reaction, I was lost, a total loss of words. She leapt straight into the air, changing her stance as she did. In no time flat, she was just standing up. Ignoring the physical contortions she had to go through, her motions were totally haphazard. Huh? What? Sorry about that. I was just so shocked, you know? It happens, right? Was I the only one? Togo, are you okay? I'm fine, I'm fine. <laughs> Whoa, is that a dead body? Hey, are you dead? She must have hit her head really hard when she fainted. Uh-oh. Is our girl a... It... Hold on. I think our girl... The world has a front and back, a top, aiding and a bottom, a sea of truth, and a web of lies. This is quite sincere, man. I mean, she sounds completely different. That's what I was about to say. She don't sound like Toko. There's no stutter. No, no, no. Everything's fine. At least the stutter's all gone. I was about to say, your star is gone. That's a good thing, right? Does she cut? Does she have best? Does she have split personality? Does she have MPD? Multiple personality disorder? She got MPD? Either that or she's blacking out. Even her eyes look different, dude. It's clear to me that everything is not fine. Your eyes seem to... Bro, I am just on fire, dude. I am on fire. I'm telling you. Her eyes are different. The whole mannerisms are different. The textile is different. Bro, I'm telling you. Nah, nah, nah. We ain't talking to Togo no more. Togo ain't, the, Togo ain't in the building. 
Toko is not in the building. Bro. It might be the best if we take her back to her room for the time being. I don't mind taking her, but could someone help me? If you need help, I don't mind. Taka, could you help me? Uh, she totally ignored me. Very well. Take care of the girl, and the rest of us will begin the investigation right away. I can assume nobody has a problem leaving Sakura Amundo in guard tonight again? Hold on a second. Rushing into an investigation? The mastermind isn't behind that. After what happened last time, surely you realize that. Mm -hmm. There's no question that Chihiro was murdered by someone among us. Isn't that right, Monokuma? Right as rain! But don't take it as a bad thing. It's just a fact of life. Because that's how graduation works. Then it happened again. Is that what you're saying? That another one of us? Another one of us killed. A fellow classmate. What does... Wait. What? Does that freak you out? You guys got no balls, you know that? Is there just nothing down there at all? Well, I'll let you pray, pray to mine if you want. Actually, I don't have any either, sorry! Stop monologuing and give us what you came here to give us. You did bring it, right? Hehe, <laughs> I sure did, chum. Allow me to present the next Monokuma file. I know how much you must be looking forward to it. So please do your very tippy top best on this investigation. Do we really gotta do another investigation? I mean, yes, there's a dead body, girl! Examining the corpse of one of our friends. Having to sus suspect all our other friends. I hate this. I can't take it anymore. I hate it too. Bro, hero, you gotta chill. I've had enough. I'm getting out of here. Where do you plan on going? There's nowhere to need to run. Just accept it already. After all, blood is just a liquid. A dead body is a simply an object. You are really enthusiastic about all this, are you not? How can I not be? If you don't unmask the culprit, we all die. That's true, but to jump into it so soon... Do you want to die? Fine, then. Go off and die somewhere. Right now. Go ahead. You're a waste of space. A dead body is an object? Chihiro wasn't an object! Show a little respect or I'll beat some into ya! Everyone stop bickering. Listen, there's some truth in what Bianca said. Kyoko! Because if we don't solve the mystery and find the killer, our lives are forfeit. And if Bianca is right, then Genocide Jack is somehow the one who killed Chihiro. Right. Then unless we do something, more victims could start piling up. More victims? Well, if we mess this up, we're all dead meat. Hey, hey. Hold on, hold on. If that's your worry, you don't gotta worry any longer. In any one killing game, the guilty party may only kill a maximum of two people. What? I don't remember any rule like that. I just came up with it. <laughs> I mean, if one person went around and killed everyone, your loving, lovely student life would be all over, right? The new rule has been added to the regulations menu. In that case, why not limit it to one person? Well, in a good mystery, you don't want to miss out on at least the potential of a serial killer angle. No. Just one would totally murder that possibility. Farewell for now. I'll catch you guys at the class try. Have a good night, Mari-san. I can't say I understand his thinking, but we can kill up to two people. Then more people's life could still be in danger. Which is definitely not good. We need to uncover the culprit before something else happens. You, you need to shut the fuck up. <laughs> well, for now, Taka and me are going to drop Toko off at her room. Nice, I'm going to get dropped off. I have no time to stand around here. We must begin our investigations, Totsuit. If we do not solve the mystery of who killed Chihiro, then we will quickly follow her into the afterlife. That's true. I hate this, but I want to survive. Me and everyone else. We have to do it. We don't have any other choice. Investigate! Okay. First of all, let's check the Monokuma file. The victim is Chihiro Fujisaki. The time of death is estimated around 2 a.m. The body was discovered in the girls' locker room on the second floor of the school. The cause of death was a blow to the head with a blunt object. I was telling by the blood drip, it looks like a blunt force. She was killed instantly. Oh, so no pain. Okay, good. That's all it says. Well, it's not like there's any point in complaining about it. No matter what, I'm gonna do what I gotta do. Monokuma file has been added to the truth bullet section of your books. Hey, Makoto, do you have a second? Hmm? Did you need something from me? Of course, life without purpose is dull, you know. So what do you need? 
I'm gonna let you cooperate with me during my investigation, huh? What? I'm purchasing your talent. The same talent which allowed me to solve Sayaka's case. Solve? No, I just... You seem to have some limited use, which is why I'm chosen you. You have the honor of contributing to my investigation. So you're inviting me to come with you. You're doing it in such the most arrogant way possible, though. Let's go. Now then, shall we get started? But we need to get moving. There's no time to be standing around. I don't think Roma just happened. <laughs> okay. Let's get to work. Alright. So let's start with right here. I'm guessing this is the blunt force object. Dumbbell on the floor. Blood stain. There's a blood stain on the dumbbell. Blow to the head with a blunt force trauma. That's what killed her. Does this mean the dumbbell was actually a murder weapon? I can't. I don't imagine it could have been anything else. Locker room dumbbell has been added to the truth section of your truth bullets. Blood pool. There's a fresh blood stain on the carpet. It must have splattered with the blood during the murder. Okay. Blood loss on the wall. Your blood breast is written on the wall. What is being behind it? Blood lust. The poster. The poster's got some blood. It must have happened during the murder. I could feel the life draining out of my own body. It's a dead body. Cheers, dead body. But the more I look, the more strange it is. This must be Genocide Jack's handiwork. Well, but... We're still not sure he did it. Is that what you want to say? I wonder about that. Hmm. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to get the little cuffs. I could feel... But if we're still not... Oh, okay. Am I being, like, super whatever? Am I missing it? Hold on. Let's talk to Sakura. I use this locker room all the time. Now it's become the site of Chihiro's death. But why was she killed in the locker room? Actually, if you think about it, she could have been killed somewhere else than carried here. She's very light, that is true. It wouldn't be hard for someone to carry her, but still. I still think she came here of her own, by choice. What makes you say that? She's been talking a lot about how she wants to get stronger. So you're saying she came here to exercise? But according to the Monokuma file, she, apparently she was killed at 2 in the morning. Would she really have been exercising that late? Hino or myself are usually in the locker room during the day, so she probably avoided it then. Avoided it? Although we invited her to join us more than once, she never showed up. So I can only assume she was trying to avoid us. And instead, she came to exercise in the middle of the night. Perhaps it is difficult for me to imagine that she imagined she would have come alone. She did not. She didn't. She did want to start exercising, but she specifically mentioned she couldn't do it by herself. She needed support from others. So you're saying she could have come here in the middle of the night to train in secret, but she would have had to come with someone else. It's possible, I think. Sakura's account. Okay. Mondo. Dude had a real complex about being weak. You. Dude. Why do you call her dude? You think Jihiro talk about it, right? All I need is to get stronger. Yeah, I do remember she said that more than once. Sure did. Which, I guess, explains the trip down here. But did she really need to get stronger that badly? You already mentioned it. But she was a girl, after all. Most girls aren't all that strong. I don't know, man. I haven't really thought about that stuff. The cause of Chihiro's complex. I can't help wondering when it might be. Hmm... I can't believe it's time for us to move on. Already? What? New clothes won't magically appear by standing around. Let's but go. if we aren't satisfied, we need to proceed. He's so pushy, I got caught up with the wrong person this time. Oh. Uh, this is our next location. This place is related to the investigation. Figure it out for yourself if you don't know, right? I'm gonna try something else. I wanna check the boys' locker room. No, I just something about the poster is bothering me. Remember, right? The car reader is meant to work with handbooks, right? What? Do you have an issue with it? If you should, you should take it up from both of it. He said then quickly and sharply clapped his hands together. Oh, has he been domesticated? It seems that Mon Makoto has a question for you. you sure, what's up? Um, well, it's just about this card reader. Yes, the card reader have all been designed 
to interface with each of your ebooks. You can only enter the locker room with the corresponding gender listed on your individual handbook. And it's impossible for two people in a row to go through while the door is unlocked, correct? If there was some sort of erotic terrorist on the prowl, the ceiling mounted Gatling gun would initi initiate a Swiss cheese slaughter. And the school regulation prohibits some anyone from lending someone else their handbook, correct? Correct, correct. So then, that means only girls can go in the girls' locker room and only boys can go in the boys' locker room. In other words, Chihiro's body being found in the girls' locker room means... Hey, Makoto, I can see right through you. See right through me? Allow me to tell you what you're thinking. Since Chihiro was found in the girls' locker room, the killer must have, be, ha, must have been able to get there. As such, the killer must have been one of the girls. Did I get it right? Good lord, you're simple. That's not what I think, actually, but... You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been found in front of you the whole entire time. Loaning your ebook to another student is strictly prohibited. It doesn't mean that borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. No, I would expect nothing less from the prodigal son of the noble Tsugami. Yeah, I, that's easy to figure out. So you managed to sniff out the loophole in the regulation. Knowing you, I would bet you created it on purpose, didn't you? To add a little more excitement to things. Yeah, you're treating me like a puny little appetizer instead of the main course I am. Now then, since the dead can't actually talk, they're not people anymore. They're things. Get it? Got it? Good. Wait, hold on. You're saying that's a loophole. In order to borrow someone else's, then, that means someone would have had to loan it. So, so sleepy. Just listen, you makes me want to pass out. Be more like Byakuya and get your poop together. Or else I'll charge you with a criminal negle negligence. No more questions. Figure out the rest on your damn self. That's fine. Well, I know you're unfortunately lacking in mental facility, so I'll fill you in myself. Let's head to the main hall. Main hall? That'll help you understand what's going on. The card reader. We came to the main hall. So what are we looking for here? Does that mean I have to figure it out myself? Surveillance camera is so chilling. There's a mailbox here. Something inside. It's an E handbook. Oh, no way. There's three. And what are they doing here? So you finally found them. Hmm? Did you know these are here, Byakuya? I happened to find them by chance the other day. It seems there is a system in place where the d handbooks of dead students gets delivered to this mail. So then these three handbooks belong to Junko, Leon, and Sayaka. You can go ahead and confirm it yourself. I immediately turn on one of the handbooks. And then I did... Sayaka... You're right, this is Sayaka's handbook. Now, do you understand? This is the key to the loophole that I revealed earlier. Yeah, I feel like I'm starting to get it. You should pay closer attention to the regulations. The answer has been in front of you the entire time. Loaning your e handbook to another student is strictly prohibited. Only the act of loaning a handbook is prohibited. Borrowing someone else's is perfectly fine. So taking someone else's does not break the rule. Main hall e-books have been added. Hold on a second, what's wrong? Strange. That's strange. One of the handbooks won't turn on. Is it broken? Whose is it? The other handbook shows Junko's name when I started it up. Then the one that wouldn't turn on must be Leon's, right? It would make sense, yes. After all, he did get pummeled with dozens and dozens of baseballs. Pummeled with baseballs. Oh, the memory of it came flooding back. That cruel punishment that led to Leon's death. The execution that the mastermind had concocted. A cruel, heartless death. You're right. It wouldn't be a surprise for the handbook to break during that kind of assault. Hey, hey! Hey, 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 hey! Hey! What? That e-handbook is essential to student life here. Crucial, integral, instrumental, and a super big deal. There's no way it would break that easily. But it did. If I say it wouldn't break, it wouldn't break. It can withstand up to 10 tons of pressure, and it's waterproof under 100 meters, okay? I don't care how many baseballs you hit with it. It wouldn't do crap. But, uh, even my amazing handbook does have a single weak point. It does. But it's a secret. I wouldn't want you to break any more handbooks. Then Leon must have broken it somehow without realizing what its weakness was, right? Hmm, hard to say. You know what I think? I think the handbook isn't actually broken. But you might ask, how could that be? Leaving the question hanging in Monokuma's... This thing... What just happened? 
Monokuma said it's not broken, but it's undeniable fact that it's not turning on. Maybe it's not charged! What? Well, I don't see any concoction connection to the case. So it doesn't matter for now. Okay. You think so? Either way, something about it still bothers me. I agree. Okay, then. This should be enough to get things rolling. Let's begin our investigation in earnest and track down the true culprit. Yeah, we need to find out who killed Chihiro. To be exact, not quite. Huh? Not quite? Byakuya seems really sus to me. What do you mean by that, Byakuya? Not to be exact, not quite. Certainly, I want to reveal Chihiro's killer, to, killer, but more precisely, I want to discover the true identity of Genocide Jack. Then you really think, you truly believe Genocide Jack is the one that killed Chihiro? Absolutely. I have no doubt that Genocide Jack is the culprit in this case. That fiendish, murderous fiend is Genocide Jack, right? There was nobody else it could be. A murderous fiend who kills us again and again using a bizarre and brutal method. They're like a ghost, attacking suddenly, then slipping away before the police can catch up with them. And what the nickname did the internet give this mysterious serial killer? Genocide Jack. They say he killed thousands of people, but that's gonna be an urban legend. Still, could one of us really be demented psychotic killer like that? You're not wrong to wonder, but the words mean little right now. I have something that will prove it, and I can show you. What do you mean by that? What precisely? Let's go check. And so. Don't make me repeat myself. And I have basis to believe. That just is. So there's proof. If there's something I'd like to talk to you. This will provide all the evidence you need. The evidence that Genocide Jack is the one that killed your hero. Evidence doesn't. Does that really like that? Ah, you too. Owie! Big trouble, need your help. I don't have time We're play. busy, leave us alone. But it's an emergency, emergency! Come on, please, you gotta help me! Oh, shit! It's a serious emergency, please, please, you gotta help me! Please calm down, okay, Hina? But, but, it, it's, it's an emergency! An emergency? What happened? Something's wrong with Toko. She started acting super strange. Well, I mean, she was acting pretty strange earlier anyway, right? What should we do, Byakuya? Since it's Toko, I must admit, I'm intrigued. I suppose we take a second to see what's going on with her. Are you sure? Don't make me repeat, make me repeat myself. I don't expect that. I thought for sure he'd just say no, and that'd be the end of it. Okay, okay, hurry up. Come on, hurry up. Okay. To Toko. You're right. I'm so sleepy, but I don't want to miss out. I want to watch it live. I swear it's a big stream, but I can't miss. <laughs> That's sweet. Thank you so much. Let's run up on Biakia and talk to him before we go in. You're talking to the wrong person. You're whistle. <laughs> Fuck you too, dog. Toko inside. Some kind of emergency. Uh, <sighs> You're talking to the wrong person. You whistle. <laughs> Ah, uh, owie. You guys are too slow. Just a bit. What's the emergency? Well, after what happened in the girls' locker room, we left Toko in her room so she could lay down. And after a while, we came back to check on your note and to see what she was doing. But when we did, it was weird. She refused to come out and she kept saying all this weird stuff. Weird stuff? That's fine. We should try to talk to her ourselves. Yeah, good idea. Okay, let's try the door now. May as well give it a shot. The door swung open slowly and silently. Oh shit. Toko? Holy crap! An aura of negativity flows out from behind the door, forcing a gasp out of me. What? what? Oh, uh, uh, nothing. nothing. It's just that it's just Hino that was really worried about you holding yourself up in your room. Why? Second. Well, 
What? And just like that, she slams the door in my face. What was that? So, oh. No way. No fucking way, dude. I was afraid to leave her there alone, so I tried to bust down her door. But it felt like something was holding it shut on the other side. I couldn't even budge it. No way. Toka was scared enough to even bar her door? Does she think the serial killer genocide jacket really murdered Chihiro? Is that why Toko's so scared? No, whatever it is, I'm really worried about her. Oh, let's go. Is there anyone who might be able to persuade her? There's no fucking way. I I hope to God I'm wrong. Am I wrong? I okay, new theory. New theory. That genocide Jack is probably like genocide Jackie. Right? Toko is the killer. It is like Genocide Jack. And the reason she's hauled herself up in her room is because when she hit her head and she sees blood, it brings out Genocide Jack. Interesting. But here's the thing. If it is Genocide Jack... And that's the thing that brings out Toko. Like, blood and shit like that causes the crazy out of out of Toko. Then, maybe she's not the one who killed Chihiro. I'm trying to just think back, because I remember when Byakuya talked about Genocide Jack. Genocide Jack kills men, right? I gotta think. Hold on, I'm grabbing my notes, guys. Hold on, hold on, I'm grabbing the notes. Where's the notes? Hold on. Okay. So I've written down here the things from the page with Genocide Jack. So key points from the frame Genocide Jack or GJ. GJ kills men. There was a pair of scissors. Okay. Multiple cases. All of them are suspended, okay. All right, so that's good to work on. So, which makes sense. If, if the, the genocide jack is not actually, not actually a, a man, but a woman, because all of their victims are men. That, that makes, to me, more sense. By the way, as a true crime fan, that to me makes way more sense. Hey, Biaki, you think you could ask her to come out of her room? Sure, whatever. You're gonna talk to her, Biaki? Wow, I guess you can be nice when you want to. Biaki stood in front of her dog, with his son, and presses the doorbell. After a few moments. Leave me alone. You're all s so annoying. So she switched back. I, it's Biaki. I'm sorry, I, I couldn't keep our promise. Oh. What promise? But don't worry, never again. I won't let Genocide Jack have control ever again. And with that, the door slammed shut. Even back I can pull. So she's Genocide Jack! So there's no, that can, that to me tells me that she's Genocide Jack and Byakuya knows. If I say I don't know, that means I don't know. I just let Hina take care of her. Oh yeah, I'll stay here. Nah, Byakuya, you're sus as fuck! Sus as fuck! Sus as fuck, he's sus as fuck. He 
keeps looking around towards his destination. Finally, his feet brought him to the stop of a certain room. The library. Come on, let's go in. Let's try this door. It's the archive, right? Hurry up and go inside. Oh, here? It's all makes sense once you're inside. Oh, I love a library room. Welcome, I see there, Welcome. Pull him off the stool. And so much dust. <laughs> Not with my allergies. I wouldn't say enough value in this place to endure the dust. Okay, okay. Let's let's take a look. Oh, there's a lot of key points in here. Okay, let's let's start from bottom to top. So let's go here. There's a wooden box and it's empty. Judging by the smudge of the dust, it looks like there was something there inside. Okay. Maybe something round. There's an extension cord plugged in there. It was proved very useful while I was in the library. Oh, it's for the lamp, right? Extension cord. Okay, that's the same one. Okay. Extension cord. Lamp. It's a desk lamp. Oh yeah, that's the same one I saw Bianca using in the library before. Oh, and there's the extension candle in the bottom. If you have a problem with that lamp, it was here before that I moved it over there. It's too dark over there, so I thought I'd put it to good use. This man is sus. This shelf is stuffed tight with files. Without really thinking about it, I picked up one randomly. You have a sharp bite, indeed, to select that file. Huh? That's the report on the presidential assassination. The original is kept at the National Library. It won't be declassified for another 30 years. Are you sure you want to look at it now? There's no telling whose crosshairs you might wind up in for peeking at it. Without making a sound, I returned the file to the shelf! Wild. There's so many files stuffed on the wall. What is all these things? Those documents are dangerous. Dangerous? They detail all the people who control the world from behind the scenes. Dangerous truth for a commoner. You mean like members of the diet or something? No, I mean the ones with real power. The secret council controlling everything from the shadows. If you're ready to be disappear for it, take a look. There's some very interesting people in there. You're kidding me, right? Am I? I just let it go for now. There's a ton of thick files stuffed into the bookshelf. If you're thinking of looking around any of them, let me give you a little warning. These things are filled with graphic, disturbing photos of all kinds of crime scenes. That's the kind of thing any normal person would not even like, Give it to me! I love true crime! Huh, what do you mean? All those files are investigation reports related to different cold cases. Those are internal documents for police eyes only. They're not the kind of thing you'd expect to leak. Oh? So, are you finally going to understand the true splendor of this library? I understand that you've looked at them! And that, to me, tells me you've got a lot of info on your brain, sir. The entire reason I have interest in the library is because of this room right here. It's the home of classified government documents, police records, things no ordinary person would ever see. Isn't it magnificent? This can't be for real, right? I hope so! This is the stuff I love! That's your guys' problem. Anything that doesn't fit with your pre preconceived reality, you label it a lie. Ooh. Well, it's not that. It's just, it's not like I totally refuse to believe it, but... I mean, there's just so much. How could anyone have put all this together? I suppose it goes to show just how much power Hope's Peak truly wields, or perhaps... The Mastermind may have wanted to provide us with enough entertainment to keep us from getting bored. Um, it's no use. I can't keep up with all this. It's just too unreal. <laughs> What's wrong? You still can't believe it? What about you? How can you believe it so easily? Things like that are unusually, Im usually impossible. What do you mean, usually? Usual, normal, ordinary, simple. Those things don't exist anywhere in the world. If you don't understand what they actually represent, you don't understand the nature of anything. You don't pull your punches, do you? Besides, what you consider usual is based on your common sense, right? But what makes you think it's your own common sense applies to me at all. The documents gathered here are genuine. I have, I have reviewed them multiple times, so there's no doubt. Hold on. You're saying you've read all these documents? And more than once? Okay, that's something big to know. He's actually gone through all the police files? My family has a reading room like there's ours in our home. Ours is bigger, of course, and not as dusty. Huh? Members of the Togami family have access to many varieties of government-related documents. 
This includes foreign powers as well as domestic. How is that possible? I already told you, there's a secret council that controls the world from the shadows. My family is a member of that council. And I have within the bloodline that will allow me to one day bend the world to my will. But to become a ruler, I must follow all the levels of this world's backwards and forwards. So whenever I have the time, I like to review whatever documents and materials that interest me. Which is why I proclaim, without a doubt, that the materials gathered here are the real thing. This is beyond believing or not believing. Biak is actually starting to scare me more than the actual mastermind. I mean, this man is insane. And what always interests me the most were the cold cases, the police investigation reports. Reading through those reports always was, has been a hobby of mine ever since I was little. Go ahead, girl boss. Read that true crime. It's excellent mental exercise. I solved more than a few of them of those cases by reviewing the records. And among of those reports, one of my recent favorites is Genocide Jack. I knew it. Oh. As he talks, Bianca grabs a specific file off the shelf. This is the complete case file. Every single report surrounding Genocide Jack has been compiled in here. Because there are so many, allow me to quickly summarize the main points. To begin, there are two notable characteristics in every Genocide Jack murder. The first characteristic is that every crime has the word bloodlust written in the victim's own blood. The second is that the victims are murdered and their bodies are suspended in a certain way. Bloodlust is written in blood. The victim's body is suspended. It's exactly the same as what happened to Jihiro. To save your, save your surprise, the best is part is yet to come. For the second characteristic, there, where the victims are suspended, the only ones who knew about the particular fact were members of the police and other higher-ups. By all accounts, nobody in the media ever found out. Huh? In other words, no one on the news, no one online, nobody knew about the aspect of each crime. Only key officials and the killer himself knew about the act of mounting the victim. Now, if you recall Chihiro's corpse, her body is most certainly mounted in this fashion. So, how could the killer have known about suspending the victim? That's the key question. But in fact, the answer is quite simple. The culprit isn't a copycat killer because it's the real Genocide Jack. Huh. That's right. There is evidence that Genocide Jack has hidden himself among the rest of us. And Genocide Jack really is such a brutal, fiendish killer. Really is walking among us. Hmm, things are really starting to get interesting, aren't they? I've never imagined a killer with such a reputation would ever be part of our little game. Now, don't you think it would be good for you to take a look at what I've already seen? You might manage to ferret out a clue or two. If you get down on your knees and beg, I might even show it you myself. No, thank you. Um, let me turn here. There's a surveillance camera here. Okay. Let's check on something. Genesis Jack files, see it. But you didn't beg, so I guess it's okay this time. Feel free to look at it here, but you can't take it with you. Bianca hands me the file, and I flip through with tense and nervous fingers. Look at that anime pro tag hair! Finally reached the page where the photos of the scenes of each crime had been all collected. The names of genocide Jack victims ran on several pages. Ken Harada, Tenoshi Honanda, Shijo Kaki, Kanoa Ise, Kasaki Yoshida. Victims suffered multiple stab wounds across his body, believed to have been inflicted by the same scissors that were later used to attach the victim as well. Written bloodlust in the same scissors. Custom scissors? Yeah, they're scissors! One thing became perfectly clear as I read. All the killers were killed and suspended in the same way. But at the scene, bloodlust. But Chihiro didn't have scissors, though. Right? I don't think. Now take a look at the next page. You'll find another interesting tidbit. Next page. It's just a pan out for me, guys. Profiling results. All of the crimes look like they take place on a weekdays, nights, or during holidays, or either night or day. The most certain time for killings to take place was on holidays in the afternoon. Based on these facts, it would suggest that the suspect may be a student. Oh! Evidence suggests that the suspect lingers at the scene, but when they did leave, they were in a panic. 
because an eyewitness has never come forward, it's unlikely that there are any external reasons for this. His com this confusing behavior suggests that the victim may possibly suffer from a dissociative identity disorder. Oh, the key point there is that the culprit may have well have a split personality. So Toko, as we mentioned, it's Toko because of what Toko said to him. So to me, that tells me that Buyakia knows it's Toko, right? Toko promises him that she won't become Genocide Jack again, right? Because she actually has a crush on Byakuya, because we found that out in the beginning. So now my question is, why isn't he just saying it's Toko? Unless he wants us to convict Toko. But I actually... I don't think it is Toko. For another unbelievable story. But this is way more unbelievable than anything else up until now. I don't think it's Toko. I know everything points to her. But something about this doesn't make any sense. Genocide Jack has been added. Let's go. All right, we should get going soon. Where are we going? Anywhere but here. We finished our business here, haven't we? Hey, but yeah, yeah. Something about this doesn't sit well in my gut. I don't know. Well, this is where we part ways. I have some things I need to take care of before the class trial. Hmm? Just, just all of a sudden like that? Come on, enough of your annoying misapprehensions. Did you really think we'd be together the whole time? I mean, you've been dragging me across this campus here, there, and everywhere, guy. Take responsibility for yourself and do something useful. Move the investigation forward on your own. Well, goodbye. I just... I don't know. Turn inside Jack. He's the one that killed Chihiro, and that murderous fiend is one of us. But who is it? I have to find out. I, I am already can tell where this is going, but the details are still, yeah. I'm gonna head back to the to the locker rooms. Let's see. We're gonna hit the hit the gas, hit the gas. Oh wait, wrong direction. Hit the gas in the opposite direction. Revealing the identity of the culprit. Oh. Another stat increase for me. Alright, let's see, Fumi. What you gotta say? Evidence? What did you find? I can't reveal that just yet. But I guarantee what I found will steal the killer's breath from his lungs. Are you sure about that? Oh, yeah. Miss Lundenberg said she'd witnessed something worthwhile, too. Really? What did she see? She refused to tell me. It's like the girl bullies the boy she likes, right? Right? Okay, then where is Celeste now? The warehouse by the dorms. She was there, but at the same time, not there. What's it gonna be? Mm, I think I wanna check the boys' locker room first before I leave. I'm right! Hold on, guys. I know that this poster was not the same poster as before. That's a boy band. This poster of a woman in a tornado. Somehow, it doesn't quite fit the boys' locker room. I'm telling you. There's a strange stain on the carpet. What is it? Boys' locker room carpet stain. I know. I know. Dude, I'm telling you. It happened in here. I am telling you right now, it happened in it happened in the men's. I I don't even know. Oh, I need to hold on. Let me go back. Yes, I don't need to go to the pool. So let's hit the R button here, guys. I promise I will get a handle on these buttons. Okay. Mm, I want to go back and look at Chihiro's body. I'm sorry, guys, for the trigger warning. I know. Okay. Mondo standing guard, Sakura standing guard, and Kyoko's here. Let's talk to Kyoko. Hey, Kyoko, have you made any progress on the investigation? I love talking to her. Generally speaking, 
But I have to get going. I have something unrelated to take care of. Something besides the investigation? What is it? Wow. Nothing you need to worry about. Just concentrate on the murder. But so before I go, let me give you a piece of advice. You should examine Chiro's body one more time, thoroughly. Also, her handbook is missing. You might want to determine its whereabouts. Goodbye. That's it. I'll pray for your success. With that, Kyoko returned and left the girls' locker room. I guess I'll take another look at the body then. And Chiro's handbook is missing? That's definitely worth worrying about. So the handbook is missing. Let's take a look at her body more. Kyoko said I should examine the body one more time. I know she said thoroughly, but I do have my limits. But I better give it a shot anyway. Let's see. Chiro's hands are bound with what looks like some kind of rope. The rope was used to prop her in kind of the pose of a crucifixion. Huh? The rope has a plug. It's an extension cord? Oh! Oh! Okay. Byakuya, you dog! I knew it! You sus sus baka! I knew it! Okay, hold on. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Now, here is the question. I don't know. He's involved. He's involved. Somehow he's involved. And the more I think about it, it's the more it's the only thing that concerns me. Chihiro's fatal injury was a blow to the head, which means someone struck her in the head in order to kill her. That's right. There's an issue with her being suspended in the fatal blow. At first, I didn't see any reason to think too much about it either. The scissors! Like I said, there's no scissors! But seeing them again after looking through the genocide jack file, something isn't quite right. It's the scissors, dude. What does it all mean? The status of the dead body. True nature of the rope is used as a bunch of and to figure out a certain place I need to revisit and look over again. But it might help to look over the genocide jack file. Go to injury blow to the head. Yes, genocide jack file. Okay. Certain place. I'm gonna go back to the library. Still more need to check. Did I miss something? It's the bloodstained poster. The blood is most noisy part. But the big-breasted swimsuit model is super noticeable, too. The girls' locker room doesn't seem like the place where this. Because I'm telling you, the posters were in the other one. That's what I'm saying. The two should be switched. Interesting. Let's talk to Sakura. Sakura spent a lot of time exercising girl, right? You use every single day since it opened up, since Hina and I use it together. Oh, so you and Hina are always together. Okay, then let me ask you something. Do you think the posters in the boys' girls' locker room could have been switched? Sorry, I can't really say. I've never really paid any attention to the posters. I see. But there is something that's been bothering me about the locker room. You see, I like to drink a little protein coffee every time I finish exercising. You, We have protein coffee? In the warehouse. It's not the highest quality, but I don't have a lot of other options. I mix protein powder with coffee and down a glass of it after exercising. Anyway, the other day, I spilled some of it on the carpet in the girls' locker room and left a stain. A stain? But I didn't see any stain on the carpet now. Exactly. I did notice it earlier. The stain has disappeared. Wait! I can only assume someone came along and cleaned it up. But still, it isn't, unu isn't it unusually clean? As if it were never stained here to begin with? Oh, I know what's happened. Someone did an old switcheroo. Okay. So that answers my thing. Anything to do with Chihiro, they switched. Because the other carpet in the boys' locker room has a brown stain. Interesting, 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 interesting. Interesting. Due to a real complex about being weak. Okay, that's what we remember from before. Something about... Mm, I don't know. Okay, okay, okay. We're gonna leave. I gotta go to the library. Yeah, thank you, Fumi. I gotta go to the library. Cause...
something about this really sets me up. There's a thick layer of dust on top of the table. Guess not. Lamp, so it won't. I see it's not plugged in. Lamp cord is not, isn't long enough to reach the outlet from here. The last time I saw it, it was definitely on and right, right? Yeah, extension cord. That's right. Yeah, I was using an extension cord. But there's no extension cord now. I wonder if... Yep. I knew it. You bitch. I knew it. That's where the extension cord originally was from, so it was here in the archive room. Awesome. And so, let's, um, who else did it mention? I think it mentioned also Celeste. Well, there's more. Where did it go? Did we all go maybe take it and... Okay. Some kind of clue here. Guess not. Should have picked tight with some kind of clue here. Guess not. Okay. Okay. That's the letter we know about the year. Okay, that's what we knew from before. Okay, the surveillance cameras. I think... I feel like I've got everything, but maybe I'm wrong. Genocide Jack's file. It's gone. Did someone take it out of the archive? Oh! But the only one who would have done that is... I can't think of anyone but Byakia. So he took the file. Okay. So, oh, I think... They said that... Um, I think they said that... Uh, that... Um, that Celeste is in the warehouse, right? Which is downstairs. to talk to Celeste because we are getting the feeling that something's going on. Also, we have noticed that the Genocide Jack file is missing. That's what I'm running to find Celeste. Because I want to speak to Celeste about, um, what's it called? I think this is the warehouse, right? I think it's right by the stair. Celeste, here we go. Celeste, what are you doing here? The warehouse is amazing. It's absolutely everything one needs to live a full life. From food to clothes to towels, there's endless supply to choose from. I see that, but have you found anything related to the case? I knew you were going to ask me that. I thought talking about the warehouse itself might misdirect you, but it seems it was pointless. Then you did find something. Very well, I'll tell you, and only you. Last night, I saw her here. Chihiro was in the warehouse. What? Really? This was right before nighttime. 
Hmm? What are you doing out this late? Oh, um, I was just... Are you planning to go exercise, perhaps? What? How did you know? Because I can see a blue track jacket sticking out of that duffel bag you're carrying. Mm -hmm. Oh, you're right. Thanks. Well, I'd better get going. I'm kind of in a hurry. Interesting. She stuffed the jacket in her bag into a hurry. It was almost like she was trying to hide it. Oh. And just like that, she was gone. Yes. I assume she was merely stocking up to go exercise in the morning, but... It would appear she ignored the nighttime rule and headed directly to the girls' locker room. If she hadn't broken our rule, none of this would have ever happened. To get what you deserve, I suppose. So apparently, Lakota and Nieji went to the girls' locker room late at night and was ordered to exercise without anyone knowing. But the strange thing is, there's no trace of a track jacket or a duffel bag, Celeste said she saw Shigeru carrying. Which means the killer could have gotten rid of it somehow. That's my question! Mm, I mean... Mm, you know what? It's a, it's a piece of clothing, right? Maybe... Let's check the laundry. This swimsuit is hanging out to dry. I don't think it's too case. Screen. Uh, it's the magazines we saw before, right? Okay. Mm. Washing machines. <sighs> Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I should. You know what? Let's go speak to the people that are always in the gym. Uh, let's see who's around. We can check here and then we can run to the gym. Oh, we. Actually, perfect. I was gonna look for Sakura, but. Oh, Hina, how's Toko doing? Same as before, she won't come out and she keeps mumbling something about Genocide Jack. So I just kept her there. You left her? My head was all swimmy. I was getting pretty hungry. And don't worry, I'm gonna head back as soon as I'm done eating. Toko's not exactly pleasant, but I'm still worried about her. Speaking of which. What are you eating? A donut, of course! Oh my god. Of course. There's two two things I'm sure God created. Outer space and donuts. Really? I bet Chihiro would have liked to eat more donuts. Maybe that was her one big regret. Oh, I should have tried to spend more time with her. Come to think of it, who did she spend time with? Yeah, she was a little st bit strange. Didn't really hang out with the girl the girls much. It was like she was trying to keep her distance from us. Actually, Sakura said something similar. She said that even though you and her invited Chihiro to exercise with you, she always refused. Yep, it's true. It wasn't just us either. It was the way she stayed away from all the girls. Why? Was she just shy? I don't know. She talked to the boys all the time. Isn't it kind of weird to be shy around your own sex but fine with the opposite sex? Oh. Wait, maybe she was... Used to get spoiling her. The law says she can't judge a book by its cover, right? I think it's something more than that, Owie. You think so? I never really saw her as that kind of girl. Owie's oh, account. Begin the trash cut class trial or it's about to begin. Okay. Hold on one second, guys. 
I'm gonna do one quick thing. Um, let's see. I want to try and save the game. I don't want to go into it. Um. Okay, let's try this. Oh, I found it! Go, 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 go. Okay. Presence. Let's check something real quick before we do anything else. Presence. Overflowing box. Report card. Let's take a look at some stuff. So Sayaka I did. Let's look at Toko really quick. Ultimate writing prodigy. Vocabulary. Interesting. But yeah, okay, yeah, let's take a look at him. What do we know about him? We haven't spent any time with him to know anything. Okay. So, we're gonna do a quick save here. Awesome. So... Okay, let's look at the transcript really quick. Bing bong, use account, blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay. So, what I think... Hold up now. Oh, I'm trying to get out. There we go. Okay. Options. Okay. Okay. I think we're going to hold off for tonight. Since we've gathered all of the things for our investigation, I will stream again tomorrow, right? So, I think what we're going to do is I plan to stream again tomorrow. So, as of tonight, we have gone through the entire investigation, everything leading up to this point. So, as of tomorrow, we will go into class trial. And we will take everything we have learned, and we will get our vengeance for Chihiro current theories before i close off for tonight my current theories stand as thus i think that something chihiro it has to do with not only chihiro's secret um i think it has something to do with chihiro's secret is the reason why chihiro died um something to do with chihiro is the reason why she died or they died i don't know um I have a couple people in mind overall. I know Byakuya is 100% involved somehow in Chihiro's death. Um, or at least not in killing her or know something about it that he has not said. Um, Toko was 100% in my mind Genocide Jack. There is no denying that to me. Um, she fits the entire characteristic of everything going on with her, including the, the drastic change in her behavior. Um, and I also think that Chihiro met up with someone who, who they trusted to do this. And I am again believing my theory that it has to have been a man. Singly for the fact that the items in the boys' and girls' locker rooms have been switched. So, my personal thought. 
Chihiro was murdered in the boys' locker room. Either Chihiro went into the boys' locker room with a guy to train with, since Chihiro was friends with most of the guys, and so Chihiro was training with one of the guys. One of the guys killed her, right? And then what they did was removed the poster off the wall, moved the carpet, and used Chihiro's, like, pad, right, to get into the women's locker room and switch everything out, put Chihiro in the women's locker room, right? And something like that. Now, the only thing I don't get and why I think Byakuya is involved, but maybe not the kill. I'm not sure. Something about the way that she is suspended from the extension cords, that tells me, first off, the extension cord has to be involved with Byakuya, as well as the fact that he's the only one who went into the library because everyone was avoiding him, so no one would have that extension cord. Um, besides us and Toko. And Toko, if she is Genocide Jack, Toko hasn't matched her M.O. for any of the other crimes. And we could say, like, oh, maybe she doesn't have her scissors. Then why not use other scissors or something else? Something about it also doesn't make sense. Also, the fact that all of Genocide Jack's victims are men, right? So that, to me, breaks down an M.O., right? So M.O. with that tells us a lot. Um, so, yeah, I think there's a lot going on. I think there is a lot happening within these last sections. Thank you guys so much for coming into this Danganronpa stream. I am so hyped to do this tomorrow. So my plan is, um, because I'm a girly who also works, um, as of tomorrow what I will do is as soon as I get off work tomorrow, I will run home to do this live stream to get to the trial tomorrow. I am so, so, so hyped. I am so hyped. I am convinced that something is going on. I think there are three, uh, I, I, mm, it's kind of a, I, like, I, I'm, I really think there is more to this than I'm even thinking about. Cause I know Toko is somehow involved. I think Byakuya, based on what we've talked about, that Byakuya is, trying to frame Toko. Like, I think he's trying to frame her. Or someone's trying to frame Toko. Because what I found really interesting about Toko was the fact that Toko... It seems that Genocide Jack comes out of Toko when there's blood or some kind of thing. Right? So, to me, for Genocide Jack to have come out, that to me tells me that Chihiro would have already had to be dead, right? Or have been hurt to bleed, to get Toko to do anything. Um, and Toko seems very adamant to keep Genocide Jack locked in her mind, right? So to me, that is, because it's her other personality. So I think Byakuya, based on, you know, flaunting his wealth and status, let a lot slip that he knows about Genocide Jack files. So I think he's the one framing Toko, it also makes sense about the promise that she makes to Byakuya, which I don't know what the full context of that promise is, but to me it comes across like he told her, oh, by the way, I know that your secret, I think her secret is that she is Genocide Jack, and Byakuya knows. I think it's like a blackmail -y love kind of thing. She loves Byakuya, and so she's doing it because because he asked her to. He's doing it because he doesn't really care about her, and he wants to, to... He thinks she's generally the one who did it. I... But I think it's not these two that killed Chihiro. I think it's just unfortunate circumstances. I don't know. I... I just don't understand. Chihiro is not close to anyone... Like, she's not close to Byaku yet, or is she close to Toko? So I think, I think, but I don't think it's one of the other girls. I mean, maybe there's a way I haven't figured it out yet in, in its entirety. The only other dude I can think of that she would have been hanging around with if she was in the men's would have been Mundo, but Mundo's also watching the body. 
So that kind of makes me a little nervous. Actually. Mundo called Ch Chihiro a dude. Referred to Ch Chihiro as a dude. Huh. Interesting. I wonder. Hold on. Guys in chat, I know this is about to be maybe a little spoilery. Question. Do we see the outfits of anyone who goes to work out at the at the gym section? Do we catch anyone's outfits? Like that she had a blue she had a blue track jacket in that bag, right? I think it's very common in Japan that the girls wear red because oh, Aoi's wearing red, right? And the boys have blue, right? Is that correct? Huh. Okay. I'm gonna leave that there tonight. We will be back in this game tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you really liked the stream, feel free to check it out. I promise I'll be on a better schedule next time. Thank you guys so much for spending time. It's always happy to be in your presence. I absolutely love and adore every single one of you. Thank you for a wonderful two years. You guys are the greatest. I'm so, so happy to keep making audios and doing these live streams for y'all. For you guys are fantastic. I'll catch you tomorrow. And remember, Gemini loves you. Have a wonderful night. Bye. Bye.